So we'll see when people are able to talk. Beep. Then beep. Everyone always talks about the beep. There it is. Beeped. Find a beep. Oh, oh maybe your magnet thing messes it up. It beeped. I gotta take that off to charge it all the time. Really? Yep. <sighs> to wireless charge. Yes, yes, yes. We're playing that game. Hey, I'm in the game already. That's quick. Do we have a chat one though? Hmm. Do we have a chat one? Yeah. It was just on it. No. No, that's not it. Oh, hi everybody. Hey. Oh, hey everybody. Hi. Oh, no. Hello. Hello there. That's better. Yeah. You hyped? I'm hyped. This matches this. It does. Wow. Pretty cool. How's everyone doing? Hopefully well. I'm ready. You know why I'm ready, Aaron? Um, I don't know why you're ready, Eric. Cause... What? Why you got that? Why you have... That's a poncho. Cause look how prepared I am. Prepared for Name what? Name a situation I'm not prepared for. A fire! Uh, I got liquid to put it out. A tornado! They're gonna fly away! <sighs> This thing, which actually is an umbrella. What? Just very small. Why I don't really need one. I got a poncho. Umbrella. You got a poncho. Yeah, I right. think it's a magnet. It will hold right. you to the ground so you wouldn't fly away. Yeah. Anyway, for whatever reason, Eric has a poncho. I don't get it. You can sleep in it. I mean, you could sleep without it, too. No, but this is protected. Yeah, but if you move a little bit, you're going to wake yourself up. What do you mean? I'm deaf. What? Let's not, do this. Not both ears. Can't hear anything. No. <clears throat> well, I can't make what? Any, I can't make any arguments. All right, well, what? He's, he's got a poncho, <laughs> and uh, we are back with Jedi Fallen Order. Hot, real quick, it would be yes. That's why I set a fire. Look, I can about, put down. A, we can have a picnic down here. I got a drink for the picnic. I have a drink. All right, here. it's a picnic time, everybody. Let's play some Fallen Order. Fallen Order. Ah, uh, yes. That's why we came here. Yes. I am going to, I think. <laughs> We're back. We're Adjust the difficulty. What? Well, I don't. It's not that I don't think that I can beat it. Yeah. It's that I uh, don't think we can beat it in the amount of time it would take to get through frame. all this. Yeah, I understand. There's we got to get the Jedi Survivor. Yes. You're right. So that's my that's my thoughts there. Okay. Are we are we really loud, guys? Because I see it spiking in the red sometimes. How loud are we? I want to make sure it's okay. I don't yeah. know how loud the game is. Pull that saber and he attacks some stuff. Yeah. Hiya! I'm gonna die. I'm not actually in the game. <sighs> Alright, so. You last, want yeah. wave ponchos, Eric. Wave ponchos? If we do that. That's a great idea. I quit. Why? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to wear one. Alright, as long as I don't have to wear a wave uh. ponchos, that's okay. Alright, I'm gonna adjust everything. Let me know if the audio is okay, but as long as it's good. Good, good. Should be good. <coughs> Last time on, we uh, went to Dathomir briefly, quickly abandoned it. Wow. Well, and now we're here on Zephyr. That's because of this. Look, watch that damage section. It's half. <laughs> if I just cut it, it's half as easy. You're right. <coughs> I think it's all I need. So now every time you die, you can be judged, is what you're saying? Okay. I'll go with that. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the judgments. All right, where do we gotta go? Yes, uh, we will be streaming Jedi Survivor when it comes out. Primarily, Aaron will be streaming Jedi Survivor when it comes out, while I will be streaming- oh, What button is it? Okay. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and then I'll catch up on Survivor as well. I, I forgot what button it was for wall run, and I'm glad that I I'm glad held a button it. and didn't yep. die, because mm -hmm. then I would've been judged. Hey! I don't want to be judged. Hey! Oh my god. Oh, what's that? They have grenades! Okay, I got oh my god, you're so good. Look at that. I think I got hit once and there's like no health gone. <laughs> yeah, there's no health gone. Let's jump. Uh oh. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Alright. 
Oh my goodness, what happened? It turned all weird. Yeah, it did turn all weird. Ah! Oh man, what a okay. jump. Yeah, that was a good okay, jump. It is R2, right? That's you what I'm pushing. Feel the force. For. Oh, you don't have to push it. It just okay. does it. Maxi big stuff, of course. No! That, that rat got you. He just hit me once. You're in the. Get! Oh! oh. Don't roll off. Too much roll off. Oh, man. Rats. Alright, we do we want to listen? Also, if we can go through faster, we can look for more Easter eggs. You're right, you're right, you're right. Keep a lookout. Alright. Just like these stormtroopers who are looking right at you, holding a glowing blue saber in. What Jefferson Mia yeah. said is mm -hmm. exactly what I said too. What? And what did I say? Said you prioritize Legend of Zelda over Star Wars in the video game world. A hundred percent. Oh wait, I have a button. I have a button. Oh, there. I was looking for that button. Okay. Found the button now. You'll never lose health again. Especially oh, wait, not right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Camera was into it. Too. That was the button I was looking at. So, games at Zelda. Games at Zelda. It's not even close. What if there was a TV show for Zelda? Uh, I'd watch it. Over any Star Wars shows? Um, I don't know. I oh feel like God! Where did he come from? Where did he come from? There's a fan. There's a data. We're missing data pick entries, Aaron. There's a dead villager data pick. Oh, yeah. We were supposed to read. Do you want to read those? Is that what like we're to, supposed to do? I like to read. And to answer your question, it takes hundreds of hours to play Zelda. It doesn't do that for the TV show. All right. Do you want to read? You want me to read? The journey begins. Chapter 1. Kel a former Jedi Padawan, has been hiding on, the, on Bracca since Order 66. Kel joined a scrapping crew. Uh, and lived in hiding for years, but blew his cover when he used the Force to save his friend, Prof, from a deadly fall. This prompted the ruthless Second and Ninth Sisters to attack him. Cal was narrowly saved by two mysterious individuals, Seer Junda and Grease Drif... Dritus? Dreyfus? Dreyfus! Is that, a, is that an F or a T? T. Dritus! Now, they find themselves on the remote planet Pagano, ready to discover the secrets of the ancient vault. Rebuilding the Jedi Order. After revealing that she no longer used the Force, Seer sent Cal to, to the ancient vault. Along the way, Cal found a friendly droid named BD-1 to join his quest. On the journey, Cal reached out in the Force, remembering his ability to wall run. Inside the vault, BD projected a message from Master Eno Cardova, Cardova, detailing how he hid a holocron containing a list of known Force-sensitive children within. To access it, Cal must find the tombs of the three Zepho sages. Mm. With BD's aid, Cal embarks on a journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. It's like the Fire Sage, the Light Sage, the Spirit yeah. Sage. Yeah, Darunia, the Goron. <clears throat> all comes all right. back to Zelda. Well, that's all of our quest ones. But okay. now we have Bracca. We have Bracca. You want to learn about Bracca, Flora, and Fauna? Uh, yeah. Bracca is a mid-rim uh, mid world dominated <coughs> by rocky plains. It's the site of a fierce campaign during the Clone Wars, battles, and orbit. And on the surface, raged as the Separatists attempted to wrest away Republic control of the system. The Separatists were aided by sympathizers from within the Scrappers Guild, hmm. nearly leading to their victory over the planet. In retaliation, the newly formed Empire cut wages and lower safety standards within Brock's shipyards, scrapyards. Which is a piece of information I didn't know I know about the Separatist thing. That's interesting. Yeah, the Separatists and the Scrapper Guild yeah. joined up. The Ibdis Maw. Brackett is home to the Ibdis Maw, a super organism that superficially resembles Tatooine Sarlacc. Okay, so it's not, though. The various mouths of the Ibdis Maw connect to a vast distributed digestive system that resides hundreds of meters below Brackett's surface. Wow. The mouths of the Maw that uh, reside in the scrapyard have swollen to immense size, fed by a steady diet of starship material. So it's not a Sarlacc. Not a Sarlacc. We're learning. Okay. We're learning. Uh, and then, do we do this one? Ah, uh, the Scrapper Guild. Scrapper Guild. Uh, There's a lot this, of these, Eric. Yeah, there is, but we, I mean, as long as we keep it up. <clears throat> okay, okay. You know? we, just, we gotta catch up now. <clears throat> the Scrapper's Guild is a network of engineers and laborers that operate in concert with the Galactic Empire, recycling and repurposing technology, machinery, and infrastructure throughout the galaxy. <laughs> Since the rise of the Empire, the Scrapper's Guild has focused heavily on an expensive 
but highly successful campaign to do away with all vehicles, equipment, and technology associated with the Empire. Oh. Republic. Republic. I see. Thank you so much, little galaxy boy. Little galaxy boy. Uh, I've been replaying this with a really cool worn traveling Jedi robe. Oh. Ah. And another mod that adds a cloak with amazing physics. Sweet. Would you guys rock a cloak if they added them in Jedi Survivor? Yes. 100%. Yeah, I definitely would. Would you choose a cloak or a poncho? I would do both. Uh, you can't do I, both. you got to pick one or the other. When I role play, mm -hmm. I change my character's clothes to suit. Speaking no. of Legend One's of Zelda, cannon. when it's cold, right. I put on a coat. Yeah, that's not Canon Link. you got to be Canon Link. He's cold. Canon Link is me. What? Yep. Okay, well, Canon Cal, what if he doesn't wear a cloak? Thank you, little galaxy boy. Uh, all right, the Starship... Shipyard scrapping is the most profitable industry on Bracca. During the Clone Wars, the planet's facilities were optimized to break down enormous flagships. Mm. Now it continues to be a center of disposal in starships despite Imperial ire with the Scrapper Guild. Ire. We also got the Cargo Train, which is uh, serve as a high-speed transport network for parts being shipped off-world. Mm. The average shipment travels through 25 security checkpoints before Jeez. being exported to the core worlds mm. for resale. That's a lot of checkpoints. That's a lot of Bracca. All right, now we got Bogano. Bogano. All right, let's look at some of the flora and fauna. We have the parafish. Uh, did we see a parafish? Uh, we saw something. It was in water. Parafish inhabit large bodies of water, feeding primarily on small algae fragments and other plants. When algae supply grows scarce, many fish die off. Their decomp uh, decomposition process raises the acidity of the mm. water gradually wearing away at the ground below and forming sinkholes. Oh, uh, maybe it was at the sinkhole section. That's, that's interesting. Why. That's why they have the sinkholes. All right. All right. The Zaur. It's like sour. Sour. I don't know. Zaur. Thrive in rocky, windy habitats, uh, habitats where the low stance and adhesive grip provide fast and agile traversal over multiple surfaces, like cavern walls. Okay, they're the ones they're that They're the ones saw. that, yeah. Is that, and that's what the big yeah. guys, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Pop wait, it says two. Oh, we're, just, we're missing two. Okay. Yeah. Boggling studies. All right. We found a corpse. It fought back against Hogdo, desperately trying to protect his family. Well, that's sad. Uh, there's a tunnel of boglings connected their nests and serve as a natural defense against predators, able to dig five meters per day. Boglings collaborate in heckles. Heckles. <laughs> or large packs, spending approximately one third of their life digging the intricate tunnel network. You know what I like is that over here, because of the, the, the flora yeah. and fauna, we have that little yeah. boggling thing. little boggling. So <clears throat> one third of their life digging, probably another third sleeping, and then the other third partying? Eating? No, partying. Banging. Cocaine. Coke what? And banging. Uh, it dead, goes with cocaine. Yeah, there's a dead Splox, which was killed by Boglings when it attempted to raid their nest. Man, Boglings killed it. Get him! <clears throat> All right, um, and then, oh man, we got some of that researcher. All right, research notes. <clears throat> Meticulous handcrafted notes on the energy sphere left behind by the Reachers of Reachers on Bogano. Uh, traveling to the Fall, a tool used by Traveler. Yep, med med uh, meditation. There was an area well hidden. Whoever here was knew the Jedi Order. And then there was a faded mural we saw. Ah, uh, with a Zepho. Yeah, uh, it likely represents a planet, but the artwork is too damaged to make out any specifics. Damn, okay. All right, and then uh, Remnants of a Lost Civilization. Offerings. These relics contain materials that aren't native to Bagano. Their fragile structure indicates that they are purely decorative, potentially objects of religious significance. It's possible they were carried here as a form of pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. Oh, so maybe Bagano is like a center of the Zepho. <clears throat> Hmm. Uh, of course, Zepho is probably the center of the Zepho thing. Actually. That would make right. more yeah, sense. Bagano yeah. is kind of like a place you go for sanctuary or religious reasons. Gotcha. Inscriptions. The vault is built out of carnite, a hard stone rich in minerals. Its inner walls are decorated with metallic plating and inscriptions. The glyphs don't return results of any galactic data bank, suggesting the language has been lost to time. Mm. One of them languages, huh? Uh, Distill My Heart. Love the Mando reaction. Thank oh, you so much for that super chat. Mando was good today. Oh. So good. Oh, everybody, if you haven't watched it, go watch it in case you get spoiled in the chat. It's going to happen. People were excited. The Vault. This structure has been here for centuries. It appears the only way to open the Vault is by using the Force. <sighs> Maxi big the Force. force. All right, well, we'll get to Dathomir later, but let's do the Zeppo one Zeppo. now to catch up where we're at. So we had a storage crate, sturdy storage containers to transport fragile goods. The outside is made of a heavy metal that can easily withstand Zeppo's high winds. Is that what Zeppo sounds like? Yeah. Okay. Warning! Warning! This area is off limits. Imperial code 94364. No selling or trading. Okay. Zeppo villagers. 
Uh, eviction. A pack left by villagers forced from their homes by the Empire and shipped off to labor camps or worse. There is an eviction notice. Civilians must immediately report for relocation. Looters will be shot. In accordance with Imperial Code 94364, no selling or trading without proper authorization and explicit consent. This property and its belongings are now under the protection of the Galactic Empire. General Marcon, hmm. the 201st Squadron. I don't know Marcon. No. Oh. Uh, separated, a bag left by a family as they became separated. The father caused a distraction, allowing the mother and to escape with their child. Aww. Hiding, a piece of fabric used by a mother to protect her child. Mm. They were on the run, trying to escape from something. Something. Dead villager, the remains of a villager who tried, uh, who died trying to save his family from the Empire. So a lot of sadness on Zepho. Zepho sucks. Yeah. We'll read Dathomir later. Should we read characters? Uh, Cordova's journey. Let's go ahead and we can catch up on these later. Let's get back into the game. All right, back to the game. Where are we? Get out of the van. Uh, you just came in this van. Weird. <laughs> oh, hey, I can run this walk. Nope. Uh, oh, here we go. Manage. So I want to heal. I'll have to fight those one troopers again. That wasn't but... too bad. That should be fine. No skills, but yeah. I mean, you don't really need to. <clears throat> Alright. Bad Batch was crazy good. That reaction, we're putting both videos into one single reaction. So it'll take a little bit longer. It'll probably that reaction will probably be up when we're done streaming today. It is being edited as we speak. I can too! Watch me! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Jackass! He'll follow you until See her. What, the, the Fortress Inquisitor gets. <laughs> That'd be I great, I just get there and oh, what's this? Artifact to Coruscant. Does that mean? That the Emperor is interested in Zepho? Maybe. They're taking artifacts to Coruscant with the Emperor. Evidence of a fight, a Stormtrooper helmet left after a struggle with a villager. Mm -hmm. Oh! Yep. Yep, yeah, it's a cargo ship. So you think it's kind of like with the Emperor uh, excavating uh, in Rebels? Yeah. Right? He's always looking at things. Yeah. Oh man, I have a scomp link. You need a scomp link. Uh, I believe. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, how much you can do here then, right? Well, if I guess gotta run I back guess here. you gotta deal with that one guy. You can't run from us! He gave up real quick. He didn't even come in the cave. This tunnel, it's not like you can hide anywhere. Alright. I'm just gonna go stand uh, down here now. Come here, like one. this. Jeez, like, what's that noise? And then he died. More scomplings. You need scomplings, man. Where, where's the scomplings? Run along the wall. I don't have force push yet. Wait, where are you going, BD? Scan. Uh, yeah. I can't push it. Thanks. I can't do nothing it. about this. I can't push it. Adam Missouri, the super chat. If there was a cameo in Jedi Survivor, who would you like to see? Oh, cameo in Jedi Survivor. Je Jedi, you know, this is five years after the Clone Wars. Jedi Survivor was five years after that. So we're looking roughly ten years after Revenge of the Sith. Hmm. Uh, be good. Hmm. Heavy assault trooper. Eh? Push button. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Shielded, heavy long range, rapid fire weapon capable of sustaining numerous hits, slow movement, long wind up before firing, and a cooldown period after attack. Provide opportunities to attack. Yeah. Uh, it's specialized infantry. Do we, is there anything new that we know about this? It uses a Z6 uh, rotary blaster cannon. Okay. Fires off steady, rapid, long range bursts <laughs> capable of inflicting heavy damage. Shielded by a low emitter energy ray. I mean, we got all these ones. Do we want any of these? I think it's well. We, we know what those are, right? Yeah, I think that we pretty much. I would oh, like maybe maybe the one that's like the rain, uh, the melee trooper. This this scout trooper. Yeah. Can block limited lightsaber attacks, but defense is easily diminished, easily defeated in this, in single combat, but dangerous in numbers. Specially trained stormtroopers. They're equipped with light armor, uh, armed with electro riot baton. When blasters are identified as insufficient, so they only pull it out because they see they can't do anything with. The nah, blaster. we can't shoot them. Okay. And then we just have a scout trooper commander, which is just a bigger, bigger, better one. With the pauldron, yeah. Yeah, okay. and stormtrooper just shoots at us. Uh, Jedi Survivor, is there a cameo that you would like to see? I can't 
think of anything specifically where I'm like, I need this. Um, maybe like, I mean, anything from like Rando would be cool. Yeah. Maybe like Hera painted would be fun. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be cool too. Yeah. Nice. Anything that's around the Rebels time frame, I think would be cool. I mean, we don't know exactly with everything yet on like Bad Batch and stuff, but at the yeah. same time, I don't want to like know too much of them because the thing I like about Bad Batch is not knowing where they're going to be. So, like, there's a lot more stakes that we didn't have in Clone Wars. Not know? knowing what the fates are, yeah. Yeah, that's good. What's that? Get that crate. Oh. All right, then. Fine. Something BD1? Lightsaber nice sleeve. I don't think I can do anything with those right now. Alright. Ball here. Sure, see in there. Like, we can. Easy. There's a guy there. Yeah, there's gonna be a slide around this corner. I remember this. Sure, I suppose. It just lets my health be filled and all that. Do you have a least favorite Star Wars moment, Aaron? Least favorite Star Wars. Moment. Mm. I see you down there. Oh, jeez, a rat ate me. That almost grabbed you, and you almost got shot with a rocket. I don't like, uh, I don't like Darth Sidious versus, versus Mace Windu. I'll check it out. One of my least favorite Star Thanks. Wars moments. Not because of what the moment is, but the way it's portrayed. I just don't buy that fight. Sam Jackson doesn't do it for me in that moment. And of course, Ian McDermott. He goes a little... <laughs> we go, we go a little nuts. <laughs> um. In accordance with the Emperor's will, we've occupied Zepho, redistributing its inhabitants. This planet has failed to yield significant data or relics for Project Augur. Its electromagnetic winds have rendered the bulk of our mining technology useless. Meanwhile, more stormtroopers lose their lives to dangerous fauna. We will not be able to fulfill our directive here. It is my recommendation that we disband the project and leave a token outpost to keep scavengers from stealing our technology. Okay. Project, project Augur. Augur. In, a, in accordance with the Emperor's will, we've occupied Zepho, redistributing its inhabitants. This planet has failed to yield significant data on, or relics for Project Augur. Its electromagnetic winds have rendered the bulk of our mining technology useless. Meanwhile, more troopers lose their lives to dangerous fauna. This is all the stuff he just said. He just said all this. I'm surprised how long it took you to realize that. <laughs> I was trying to think about what my uh, least favorite Star Wars moment was. And I was like, what did he say? I'm going to read the uh, Wikipedia article, if you don't mind. Okay. In accordance with the Emperor's will, we've occupied Zepho. Read No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, Hannes uh, Natender says, Hi, really love what you do. Something I would like to see is more of Star Wars in the older public era. Very much enjoy the RPG game. There was hope for that for a minute. Oh, God! Don't let him get away! You, get up here! Ah. Get up here! Ah. <laughs> I love that sound effect so much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, like Aaron was gonna say, there was hope for a nice little Republic remake. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, I hope so. My, my hopes with that was that they were, like, trying to 
see what the response was and try to like maybe inch our way into yeah. maybe some Revan story stuff or some sure. different ideas. But. Well, I mean, we do have the High Republic going on, which is technically the Old Republic. Uh, and the Acolyte is going to be a television show taking place in that time. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. And then uh, if you ever want to, you can go check out the Old Republic video game, which is free to play now, right? I believe so, yeah. yeah. I can get on like tablets and stuff. Right yeah. Jeez! Jeez! Open up! This is dangerous. Uh, you can run on that wall. It's like you gotta wait for it to go oh, back. No. Oh, I gotta climb. Woo! Woo! Okay, figure it out. Empire's pinpointed your location. You Been a minute. Move fast. Yeah, pawn it. Thanks. Meditate point here. Might as well, well take use it. it. At least this way I'll spawn here. I can use a skill point too. Eric's head is blocking the health bar, so we don't know how bad Aaron is doing. Well, that's a kind of a surprise. We know. They don't know. <laughs> uh, empowered slow. Okay. Yeah, let's take that. Longer duration slow? Yeah. I'll slow you down. Okay. And you walk all the way around. Man, that's, he's just mocking that guy. Did you see that? Like, oh. All right. He's like, ooh, ooh. Whoa, almost got me. <laughs> you have to be faster than that. Oh, yeah, you're right. There was a crate back here. The uh, Bad Batch reaction is going to be up after stream. It's going to take a little extra to edit it. It's being edited right now. Oh, no. If I get smushed. Aaron! Ah! Aaron! <laughs> okay, get yeah, time. Ah! Jesus, okay, never mind. <laughs> Where was the crate? I remember seeing something. Uh, it's got to be, like, in here somewhere. Maybe it's, like, maybe there's some... Tunnels or something inside there. Man, that is terrible. Well, you gotta wait. Yep, right there. Got it. Okay. Durst. Me in, me in. Just gonna look and see if there's anything extra with Project R. No. Shoot. Shoot. Oh God. Shoot. Aaron. Shoot. Aaron. Okay, that one takes a long time. <laughs> I kept slowing it. Okay. Now you have to have enough room to run. Yeah, not oh my gosh, it's so stressful. <laughs> New Mantis. Oh, Ooh. What's it look like? Uh, Devin Shu Pandy with a super chat. Petition, petition to have Aaron around for Eric's Je uh, Jedi Survivor stream, please. Thank you all for the content. Looking forward to the Mando what? and Bad Batch reactions today. So you can play it by yourself while I'm playing Zelda, but whenever I could play it later, maybe you can join me. Join in with you? Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll see. That. We always, uh, you know, our stream schedules can be rough because they're in addition to our normal work hours. 
don't think the Emperor which are already rough. <laughs> then we have the for now. Zephos, so big. I remember thinking I explored all this planet and then found a whole new area. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, we got some super chats in there. And, uh, oh my gosh! Jeffer Sona says, uh, "If you rat. if you had the opportunity to create your own Star Wars story with no limitations at all in terms of setting and time period, budget, what do you do?" I can I continue the story of Rey Skywalker as the last Jedi in the first of the Skywalkers, which is a a new order of Force sensitive beings that. Uh, do what I think the Jedi were meant to do. And they literally have a record of the Jedi's failures with those texts. They do. It's you know? true, yeah. It'd be great if she could, like, link That's into, like, uh, on the right track. You know, all the previous Jedi Force ghosts that she could talk to. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Craig Shipway with a $300. Or oh, a, 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 I'm not sure what that one is, but it's a lot. A300. I loved the two-parter and the Mando episodes of The Bad Batch and The Mandalorian. I'm sorry, yeah. Just today, I found out I'm positive for COVID-19. Uh, My state only has one COVID case, and I'm the only one. Really? The only wow. COVID in your state. Well, Craig, we hope that you feel okay, um, and you can get through it. Both of us have dealt with COVID. Speedy recovery. And speedy recovery. And thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. So much. Thank I want a bounty hunter show. It's Australian. Way. Thank you, Craig. Oh, Australia. Australia. I want to... On the one, I want a like a bounty hunter. A I'd love to have like a bounty hunter movie. Yeah, that's cool. About it crippled the Empire's equipment. I can feel something pulling me. Okay, so this is the swirling storm that we talked about last stream. Yeah, the magnetic wind. Your instinct. All right, I'll do my best. Okay, yeah, we're here. I remember this place. The Master Goat. <laughs> Irish Nexus says, "Did you feel any extra hype uh, for the moment for Iriadu today in the Bad Batch after recently reading Tarkin? Very coincidental, but worked out great." Aaron and I are both like, "Iriadu!" Calvin and Rick are both like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "It's the home planet." And I heard Calvin later be like, "What planet is this?" Oh, it's dope. Oh shit. Yeah, Calvin did ask that. Yeah. It's very funny. But yeah, totally extra hype. I feel like the Tarkin book has changed every time I look at Tarkin. Ooh, that's close. He charged, I charged, my charge won. I remember whenever you leave this area, like all the goats are replaced with rocket these. troopers. I wonder if they connect. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Let's see. Oh. Terrarium oh, seed. That seed, yay. Good. You know I'm here. Can I pull him off? <laughs> okay. Oh, man. You tricked him. Ah, oh. oh, he tricked you. Ah. I lived, bitch. <laughs> Dang goats, man. Yeah, man. They're bloodthirsty. Look at him. Oh. oh, he fell off. He keeps falling off. Needing him to fall off. Like something. Yeah, high. down there. Nah, there's no like yeah, holes. You're right. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Dodge that. Attack him far. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get inside. This place. Yeah, it was a it was a big Star Wars day today. If you're in chat and haven't caught up with Mando and Bad Batch, just beware of spoilers. I. uh... Even after we, you know, I, I don't go on YouTube Wednesday mornings, mm -hmm. and as soon as I did, I saw people spoiling stuff. Really? Yep. Big, big, big channels doing it, too. We try to not spoil, because we know not everyone gets to watch things right away, or they go to work. Yeah. But even, we try our best, too, in our thumbnails, too, to not spoil and Here's stuff. the thing. I get it. You put it in there, guaranteed more views. It's, it's just how the internet works, but... You gotta, you gotta uh, at the very least, don't put it up for like 24, 48 hours and then change the thumbnail. You can always change time. the thumbnail later. Sure. Ah, oh, there we are. Gamer Harold. 
hype it up for Mr. Aaron up? and Mr. Harry. I don't, I don't feel like a stream really starts until Harold's there. Harold's Thank you, Harold. Yeah. Never seen Thank you so much. Do that before. That's crazy, yeah, man. That's incredible. But I can slow the storm down. That's maybe. incredible. I mean, come on. In uh, Legends, there was a move called Force Storm, an ability that was kind of like creating storms out of the forest. This reminds me of it. And then, Craig, another five Aussie bucks. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Craig. Just with a laughing emoji of a plant man. That's a lemon. He's a lemon? That's a lemon. Tomb of... Oh, wait, I bet he's a little side we've uncovered yet, despite my reservations. I cannot chase the Bagano fault from my mind. Its vision shaped the direction of an entire culture. I must understand why. Yeah. The Zephyr are fast man. I've changed my mind. I'm making a whole new movie. A whole new movie? Screw the bounty hunters. Okay. I want Death Troopers. I want a Death Trooper movie. Release it on Halloween. Yeah. Make make it a short like that werewolf show. Yeah. You know? Yeah, Halloween special. Right? Make it a I Halloween guess. special with Death Troopers. Oh my gosh. I'd watch that. I uh, love it. Alright, we got some more super chats. Mike Brent for 20 bucks. Uh, love your stuff. My idea is that a it's a dirty job style show set in all the different planets that we've seen. Dirty jobs. No sign of them down here. Let's clean a sewer in the far lower levels of Coruscant. Or just harvest spice. You know what? Pure world building. Just make it the, uh, what was that one with Kylo Ren in the SNL skit where like he went undercover, undercover boss or whatever, right? Yeah. All right, we got an Eye of the Storm uh, thing here. Uh, I'm going to read the Super Chats real quick. Cat, $5. I have issues with the sequels slash Disney acquisition of Star Wars, but I love the amount of new stories. My bookshelf is a, a mix of both timelines. Uh, me too. I really want to check out Shadows of the Sith. Shadows of the Sith, That's that yeah. book that's really in the sequel era, and I want to uh, yeah, check out. Yeah, is it the, that's the Lando Luke one, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we had uh, Theopine, $10, uh, or I think that's, uh, that's not dollars, right? Pounds. That's pounds. Yeah, that's I'm pounds. A, we're going to be you very... you got to learn that one. That's I am very know. familiar with pounds, but not the currency. Uh, do you guys have any favorite Star Wars outfits, not including ponchos, Eric? Favorite Star Wars outfit? I mean, Mando armor's pretty great. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I like uh, I like Lando with his capes. Capes are pretty great. You know, it's, not, it's not like the cloak stuff. It's just capes. Like, you can't wear capes today. Imagine Lando's capes with the cape droids that Grief Karga has. Yeah. That's good Grief Karga got a cool yeah. outfit, too. I like that. The Eye of the Storm. The crew traveled to Zepho homeworld, searching for the tombs Cordova mentioned. Mm -hmm. They learned the Empire occupied Zepho in order to mine ancient artifacts. Mm -hmm. The directive codenamed Project Augur, was terminated after Zepho's magnetic winds proved too difficult to deal with. Now, Cal and BD find themselves inside an ancient Zepho tomb looking for messages. So the Emperor gets a message like, hey, uh, sir, there's some weird force shit at Zepho. He's like, yes, great Project Augur. Send the stormtroopers. And they're like, it's really windy. He's like, come home. Oh, no, that guy. Just, all right, just leave it. Never mind. <laughs> I'm busy. Oh, there we go. Um, so is Project Augur, is, do you think that's tied to, like, when eventually, I mean, hopefully you guys have already played this game, but yeah. spoilers, but whenever we get to Ilum later on, it's mm -hmm. been, like, mined and stuff, and that stuff kind of happening? Sure. Do you think that stuff's related to Augur? I think Augur is specifically to the Zepho, whereas Ilum is specifically to Kyber. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it, it's crazy to think that the Emperor, even now, like, the Death Star is obviously something that he's working on, but... The Emperor always has levels to his plans. He's already working on Starkiller Base. Yeah. You know? That's insane. Yeah. Uh, and it makes a lot of sense, too, because the Death Star he gives to Tarkin, he empowers the people that follow him to create the Empire, but the Starkiller Base is going to be his. You know? Yeah. It's crazy to think about. Oh! How is that even possible? Magic. Whoa. Maxi Big the Force. Yeah. The force. Um, I don't have my force pushing stuff yet. I need force push. Yeah, you need force push. Yeah, I need some wind. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, I gotcha. I dodged for that one and yeah. that guy got me. We gotta watch out for those holes. Holes! I said holes, Damn, you Aaron! You said it too late, Aaron! Dig enough them holes. Damn it. Dig it. Oh, man, you're not going for it. That one really got you. And you're out of stems. 
Yeah, this is why I get those heals just so I can have my stems as much as I can, you know? Stems are important to have. Another costume I love is Count Dooku's pajamas. <gasps> yes, Count Dooku's pajamas are so good. Mm -hmm. Mother Talzin's pretty cool. Her yeah. costume's great. Welcome, Count Dooku. And then you gotta mix that. Welcome, Count Dooku. Yes. Yeah. Cooper Sellers with a super chat. Do you think Palps beating Yoda with the high ground was an intentional parallel with Obi Wan beating Yoda with the high ground? Mm. Did it have the high ground? You know. Ah, it did. Ah, ah. Yeah, I mean, I, Maybe. I, I, actually, I think that he beat Yoda with the low ground and he smacked into it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool puzzle. I remember this room so clearly, Aaron. Do you? Because we've, we've revisited a couple times in this game. That big guy. Yeah. Uh, see, look, here I am. I'm good. I think, yeah, okay. Go here, yeah, that's good. That's, that's a good time to win right there. Guys, thanks so much for all the support uh, yeah, we with these streams. It. All right. We, uh, I don't know, we kind of felt like we were taking a chance streaming on YouTube, but it seems like a lot of people are enjoying it. I'm glad people are enjoying it, yeah. And we got to personally apologize to everybody that was in the chat last uh, stream, because we thought we were doing good by removing our 10-minute intro in the beginning, but unfortunately, we lost the live chat when we did that, so that sucks. We will not make that mistake again. That's why we didn't have a countdown this time. No countdown today, yeah. <laughs> All right, look at this thing. Tell me that doesn't look like the thing in Bad Batch. No, it does. The energy and everything. Yeah. Oh, I'm running out of That's gotta be a Zephyr. Oh, he's doing his charge up. Oh, Ooh, dang. he gotcha. He gotcha. Not again. Oh, dang, man, it's a hard hit. Chase! 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 Uh, Scarecrow, uh, super chat, for last week's Mando episode, people have pointed out that the Naboo ship could have been a Padme connection because Anakin would still be at the temple. True? Um, I could definitely see that. Uh, I think that it's more of a meta answer in that with Keller and Beck being played by Ahmed Best, in spirit, Jar Jar, who's a representative, resides on Coruscant from Naboo, might have a Nubian ship there as well. We know that the Gungans don't have spacecraft, so they probably would be using that. So yeah. I, so I like to it. think that like from Jar Jar came Keller and Beck to get Baby Yoda. But I like your idea too that, well, I mean, Padme's there and that could be Padme's ship and guards. I need two points for that. Two points for the leaping slash? But I've almost got everything that I can get right now. Okay. Um, the Gatorade I'm drinking is good. It's white. Uh, I don't know what the color is. Gla what flavor? Glacier cherry. It has zero sugar. I've been trying to have zero sugar as much as possible, except, you know, when I eat good food. Good food. Yeah. It's pretty much my drinks. I'm trying to get rid of sugar in my drinks. And that's the thing, like, especially added sugar. Yeah. Almost everything has added sugar yeah, in it. Yeah, There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're making progress today. Up, there we go. Uh, you seen, it's just Aaron playing uh, this time. Uh, but we're also oh here to just kind God, of. How yeah, am I supposed to do that? That one didn't work out very well. <laughs> you gotta, I think, wait until it yeah, crests. Maybe. Maybe I should swing a different direction. Jump! No! Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Stress. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Just turn it. Yeah. See, this go. is why Aaron plays and I read the super chats. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. Statue yeah, it's huge. I wonder how much we'll learn of the Zepho in this, like, from this game, the book, and the new game, you know? like. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not much. Maybe we do something else. I want to talk about it a little bit, but you haven't seen the story trailer. Uh, I have not. So, I don't want to go too far into it. Okay. 
I haven't even <laughs> I haven't even gotten a chance to start Battle Scars yet. We're gonna be doing that on our trip coming up. Yeah, I was thinking about doing them on, on the plane. Mm -hmm. I figured it'd be a good time to do it. Yeah. All right, we gotta do this. Um, and then... okay, we're good. And then, oh. stupid wind! Right. Do you think that the Zepho, like, because they're the ones that created this temple, right? Yeah. Do you think they were just, like, really into parkour? I think it's just, it, everything's broken. Like, you imagine going to, like, a Catholic church, but to get to the altar, you had to do all this shit? <laughs> no, I can't. Exactly. I just, That'd I'm, be crazy. I wonder if they're, I always think about that, like, when I play Zelda. I'm like, who made this holy temple do this? <laughs> you know, why are these, like, this, but... No, I get you. Like, when there's traps and stuff in a place, and you're yeah. like, what the heck? That's why I've always liked the Shadow Temple in Ocarina of Time. Because the lore behind it is that it's a place where the Sheikah tortured their prisoners. Woo! I want to look at the... Do we have a... Codex, this codex for this guy? That'd be cool. Walk. Yeah. Dude, he's been standing there for like a hundred years. Give him a break. Oh man. Can you imagine waiting there for a hundred years and some fucker comes in and cuts you down? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I wanna look at I want data. Data bank. Bonk bonk. Um we're on Zepho. Yep. We don't have anything new. What about tactical guide? Empire Zepho. Skaz. Skaz. Skungus. Skungus. Tomb, Tomb Guardian. Guardian. There you go. All right, the ancient automaton constructed by the Zepho. It is believed the Tomb Guardian's central function was to protect sacred sites. As details of their abilities remain mysterious, if encountered, one should proceed with extreme caution. Cold and indifferent, they attack not out of malice or defense, but from a programmed response to intruders. Known for powerful, unblockable strikes, they can prove especially threatening in limited areas without space to dodge their attacks. Their primary vulnerability appears to be the power core located above their central abdomen. Any disruption of the core should provoke a shutdown. I'm attack the core. Well, I need a I need a, a way to attack it. You do. I don't have that yet. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> that does look fun. Wouldn't that be great? It's just like fun. ride wind. I want to go to one of those places where it's like fake skydiving. Yeah, me too. That'd be fun. You think I'd just be in like on the bottom? <laughs> on the on the bottom? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you mean? It's like not enough for me. <laughs> Are you, we'd be, uh, I think it'd it be would. great. It'd be fun. You should do that. You should vlog it. I don't know. Alright, what's this one? I agree, seamen. Totally the same design as Bad Batch. Mike Brant with the super chat. I can't stay any longer, but I'm always happy to catch a bit of stream when I can. Quick question. Why do you think Kellerin had cool gold, uh, gold embossments on his robe? It felt high republicly. What does that mean? Yeah, I mean, I, it just seems like he, you know, not a lot of Jedi dress, you know, in terms of fashion. They kind of dress like monks. That's why, like, you know, poor people on Tatooine look like they're dressed like Jedi because that Jedi are meant to look without... They're not meant to be rich yeah. looking, right? But I guess Kellerin just has maybe something about him that, like, no, this robe is... I take pride in, and it just looks like that. I'm not really sure. Mm, the High yeah. Republic did have they, more gold, though. They did. Dude, the high, the Old Republic and stuff, too, also had, like, cool armor stuff that right. we yeah. kind of get little glimpses of in, like, Clone Wars. Yeah. What uh, Obi-Wan wears a little bit. This is cool. Now, Aaron, I hear if you turn around and take 66 steps. Uh... <laughs> Oh, if only you could. Oh. Focus. Look at that facade, Aaron. But we stand against it. Good. The force is there to shield us. The obstacles in your path define the path. What stands in the way becomes the way. I don't know. Does he use? It? Man, that's such a good control of the force. He does. The way. Good. Continue. 
I think he's using the horse. Faster now. Complete the test. Jaro Tapal is like. He might be like one of the best telekinetic fighters in the order. Stands in the way. It comes the way. This is the way. Wait, you can go back this way, right? Because we opened the door. A Dugan! Yes! I like having force push. Force push is great. Yep. Oh, that's gonna really help when you're doing fights. Oh, yeah. Edges. yeah, knock them off. That yeah. Oh, I think I uh, Atif Ahmed says, uh, been a fan from Scotland for the last five years. Thank you for all the laughs. Heart, one million subs soon. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much, Atif. We appreciate hitting 100,000 on this ago. channel already. Yep. Definitely. Oh, Tomb Guardian. That Tomb Guardian, a Zepho Tomb Guardian, powerful automatons that protect the tombs, was destroyed here long ago. See, that one didn't have to wait. So what was in there? Slivian iron. Slivian. What's a slivian? Uh, it's a lizard person. That's just a guess. I have no idea. Wikipedia! So it's a type of iron used as a magnet. Lando Calrissian used a small block of Slivian iron to rig a game of Vascovir against 7-7 seven, seven Durangos. So he used it to cheat with okay. his magnetic uh, stuff. Okay. That is from Last Shot, which is a book about Lando. We're going to put Last Shot on there. My friend, take a look at the Very cool. A lot of books here. Yep. All right. We got Cordova here. The distinctive here. striations. It can only be a Rosha tree from Kashyyyk. It's time Kashyyyk. to call on an old friend. If the Zepho had contact with Kashyyyk, there is a good chance Chieftain Tarful will know Tarful! About Tarful! Not Tarful. No, not Tarful. Commander Tarful, Chieftain Tarful. Mm -hmm. We got multiple entries on that one. Uh, the meme with the super chat. Hey guys, been a Raw Rider Patreon, patron for a couple years now, and just wanted to say, you guys are the reason I started watching reaction videos on YouTube. No question, just a big fan. Oh, well thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it very much. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the reaction. Mm -hmm. Influences from Kashyyyk. Uh, this isn't what you just said, right? Uh, yes. Uh, that's the same thing he said. Chieftain Tarful. Oh, you see down there, Aaron, you see that giant sarcophagus? Aaron! Oh, I'm busy! Sarcophagus, Aaron! Darth Sherm94, another super chat. Also a fan from Scotland. Oh, oh, all right. Stoked for celebration. Hope to see you guys there. Do you think we'll see all of Phoenix Squad back in Ahsoka? I, I think I do. I don't know. I don't want to have too many expectations. Took him out. Yeah, dude, that one. Oh. Hey, you want to read this one? I do. And we will be there for every day of Star Wars Celebration, so we hope to see you too. All of them. Elrim Sarcophagus. This ancient Zepho sarcophagus holds the remains of of Sage Elrim. They were the first of the Zepho to establish a relationship with the inhabitants of Kashyyyk and loved the planet's greenery dearly. Now, the remains are forever interred beneath the roots of stone worship tree. Of a stone worship tree. Of a stone worship Look up for the st worship that's, that's, tree. That's, that's, that's oh, that one. Oh, See? that's awesome. Na, 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 he loved Kashyyyk so much, they made this here on Zepho. Yeah. That's awesome. Can I just got this one? Open sesame seed. Uh, super chat from Kaleeb, uh Diaz. Crazy to think that I'll be seeing you guys in London soon. I agree on the Mace Palpatine fight, by the way. When people say that the sequel trilogy has the worst fights, I'm like, nah. Yeah, I agree. Oh, jeez. Your high behind is wrong. <laughs> you can't get me. Go on uh, Gillard Stunt's YouTube channel, Nick Gillard's YouTube channel, and you can see how good that fight was going to be. Uh, you can also see the uh, the original Fun Wars, or uh, Dooku fight, right? Dooku fight, yep. There's a lot of good stuff on there. Off with his arm! Yeah, buddy. I, I, 
love how it slides off. Alright, um, and then I can put you, I can put this in the hole. Yeah, that hole. It's in the hole! And that pulls that one up, so you have to put one over there. Or something. Or you gotta be standing on it when it does it. Nope, we've never been to England before. Oh, okay. Let me do this. Alright, he's gonna come back? Nope. Oh, man. Not so close. Jackson Young with the super chat. What's more likely? Live action Bad Batch or a live action slash animated show of Cal Kestis? Probably Cal Kestis because they already have an actor. True. Yeah, for live action Bad Batch, if you see their face, you're going to want them to look as much like Django as possible. I mean, with some alterations, of course. Sure. But yeah. I think Cal Kestis is probably more likely. Yeah, I mean, this guy just modeled after him, you know? Ooh, BD1 skin. What do you look like? Oh. A little greenish. Yeah. A little blue. And uh, Malik20 says, Hello, I'm excited for Brooklyn Nine-Nine pad podcast tomorrow. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, yeah. 3 p.m. twitch.tv slash blindwave. I get the sense it was part of some type of training ritual for Zepho Force users. Zepho Force Sage users. training, or yeah. check out that. Training uh, ritual relic used by Zepho Force users for generations in their pursuit of understanding. Mm. Oh, oh, we're going down. Just hang it for a Like I said, man, this room. I have my two skill points though now. Oh, I've got a better connection with the force now. I have new powers. Whoa, yeah. Mm, what do you think? Enhanced thinking? force recovery might be good. Yeah. Do you I mean, feel like you are often out of force ability? Yeah, especially if I do my triangle thing. Gotcha. Mash push, though. Yeah, I'm thinking about that one. I could do both of these. I have two points. Okay. Um, enhanced survival skills, maximum life increase. That might be good. That's not bad. Cal additional life with BD1. All nice of these too. are great. Cal automatically deflects blaster bolts while sprinting or wall running. I guess it makes sense to not have bad ones. Oh, <laughs> that. That one sucks. Caleb Diaz also says, hey, you guys going to do Star Wars movie commentaries? Maybe one day. That might be fun. There's a lot of Star Wars going on right now, but at some point, surely, there will be a dry spell if we can do something like that. Yeah. Probably, yeah. That'd be fun. All right, take all the pushing. And, uh... The meme, Aaron, with the super chat. I also got into Star Wars because of you guys. I've watched all 134 reactions twice. Jeez, really? That's awesome. Thank you. Got into reactions before. Or into Star Wars because of us? That's what it says. That's awesome. But yeah, uh, commentaries could be fun. Oh yeah, definitely. We, we did the first three a long time ago, right? We did. Mm -hmm. The original trilogy? Yeah, but I mean, it's not like I wouldn't really do them again. <laughs> Alright, that ball's there so I can go... I wonder if I can do a little stealthy hit. Sure, I get you. He looked right at you as you were coming. Uh-oh. Kristen Lynn says, are your spouses going with you across the pond? Also, hello there, my fellow bug guy. Um, Melanie will be there. Melanie's going to be there. James is not going to be able to make it. Um, and then Maggie is going to be there and uh, Calvin Fiancés as well. So there'll be some people. They're not all going to be around celebration, but they are going to be... Uh, with us in London. Um, and then Melanie will be at the Pokemon thing with too yes. on the next week. Oh God! Are you trying to run across that? No, I was okay. trying to grab it, but he gotcha. just didn't. He didn't grab it right away, and I got scared. I got scared. Just scared. Almost fell. Look at that. Look at that hole. Look how far down. That's there. a really, really, really far hole. What's this? Request a hint for what? I just got the here. The game is judging you. No, say nothing. 
Logan Andrew, Super Chat. Star Wars fun fact! The actor for Gorian Shard is the same actor who play, plays Zaro Zondoxus from Game of Thrones. That's where we know his voice. Hmm. Remember the guy in uh, with Danny and he got stuck in the vault? Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, you were saying just a bit ago, I feel like. I like, I know that voice! Yeah, Cow and I both did. Yeah. Well, we gotta remember that. We couldn't. We were like, I don't know what it is. I can't place it. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Alright. Need to. Sir Sit Salon, or Salat, says, I'm so ready for Ben 10 on Patreon tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> ben 10's been so much fun. I have a lot of fun with that show. I have enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Pool here. Okay. Chase Gardner with the super chat. Hi, Eric and Aaron. What other Jedi do you want a video game for or a live action TV show? Kyle. Kyle Katan. <laughs> You're the legendary hero who defeated Jarek at the Valley of the Jedi. You look nothing more than a bad bird. That's my answer. That's what you're wanting. Oh, get on it! I thought I was gonna go way high. You feel better? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, and then I gotta do... Yeah, I get you. I understand. Do you see the way? What? Scanning again? Did you scan it? Oh, the twin chime. My friend, this tomb is utterly fascinating. Oh, but he's just fascinated. Okay. That's it. Uh, Brutish Wing 2.0 with a super chat. Seeing advanced Zepho structures makes me itch to see what Rakata civilization was like, since they did terraforming and much more. Sure. They created the Starforge. That's insane. Starforge. That was a crazy thing. The Starforge is insane. We're gonna, we're gonna solve this puzzle. Right yeah. Guys, thank you so much for the support and the super chats. We got Scarecrow. Have you guys seen or found the hidden room Easter egg? With Yoda in this level, it's a bit tricky to get to, but a fun little reward. I don't know anything about that. Let me look. I believe I have. We're gonna look and maybe we can try to do that. Is it in this place now or is it something I gotta come back to later? Okay, you were just there. It's not just no look. Rippling through these chimes. Keep playing. Voices. In the past. Okay, I have an idea of where this could be. Um, and I'll tell you when we get there. Okay. Might not be for a bit. But thank you, Scarecrow. This. Yeah, I know. I think it gives you more force now. Oh man, it's only two or three and I got I think they were training force users. Meditation relics. It's crazy that just going down there that affects you. Still, you know? Yeah, like I just touch it and I'm yeah. like, oh, I have a better connection there. Alright, the exit was. Oh. No. Remember this room, Aaron. Remember this room. One more. You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now back to the other puzzle. I just didn't want to forget that one. Yeah. No, I don't need your help. <laughs> space and time right now, Are baby. you sure you don't need help? I just got here. You look so impatient just running around. Uh, uh, uh. Like Yoda would just be up and like... You know? But you're right. just... Uh. Dude, he would be much more patient. Alright, I think I do that, right? And then okay. it launches it and it sends it around over there and it sends it up there. Oh wait, do I gotta be up here? I gotta be up here. We're not still uh playing Grandmaster. We've 
gone down to Jedi Master. Which is still respectable. Yeah, we're just trying to hurry along. Yeah. No, go! Get, get your butt. Oh man, I know. I what, know is, what does it do? Well, I gotta get it around over there, but I gotta get the one, I think. Here. Whoa! <laughs> what secret Zepho technique was that? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, you oh. use force ejector seat. I need, I need it there for the. Wind. That's what it is. Okay. Hmm. Kind of remember this. Place. That launches this. Uh, and then you can put that over there. Yeah, but I already yeah. did that one. But I need to get it launching here. Oh, maybe what I do is not send it all the way around again. Like that, I go there, and then maybe I just. Must be right. You gotta send something. Because it has to go there. around through here, yeah. and then it's like. Whee! Well, let's look around. Try to see what we're doing. Back in that that force pushable there? No, that's not. But. But. Okay. I'm going this from over here. That's climbable. Oh. There's a spear there. Yay! Yay! There we go. We just need three balls, not Destroying two. Destroying ancient structures! We don't have enough balls, Eric. Apparently, you're supposed to do this. So, that, this goes with your point. What? How did they do this? And build these back up. Right, now we go up, I think. I think that's going to go all the way around. I think it will. Now there's wind. We're gonna get caught Going here in a slow. second. Wait for it. Alright, and then I think if I wait right here. What? Ah! Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't. Dang. Could have forced. Maybe I should have just pushed it this way. Or forced slow. Uh, yeah, that might have worked. Or slow ability. Do it again. I'm on the right track. We're almost there. Alright, we'll just wait here. Think about force coming around, coming around. Okay, Do -do. and now Jedi push, put a little curve on it. Yeah, oh, all right, good job, Aaron. All right, and then we just wait. Is there anything back here? We already went that way. Yeah, we went that way. Climb. Better call Huxler with the super chat. Fan from Scotland, Watt Tambor is my favorite character. Watt Tambor? Really? The techno you know is at your disposal count. Can you go down there? Uh, may I just step on that? Oh, that takes you up. What did you find? So the Except secret Easter egg was down Cordova there. Mentioned someone oh, named I've been Charcoal. down there. Okay. So is, I gotta go back down there? I don't think we have to. They were old friends. Maybe we can catch us another time. Still around? There's only one way to find out. I don't know out. what you do, because I was down there earlier. Maybe it's after this moves. Maybe. Because I was down there, like, there's nothing here. Yeah. Maybe you gotta trigger there's this a, to go up. There's a special jump you have to do down there. Oh, uh, I wonder if I need double jump. Maybe. Uh, I don't have, maybe you need I don't have double, double jump or anything yet. So I was, like, looking around, like, man, I can't do anything here. Uh, it's really dark. <laughs> yeah, we need double jump. We'll try to come back here with that uh, when that happens. Double jump. Wait, no. What, what's those what those one reactors of Star Wars stuff say? The one with that guy. Jump. Yeah, the one with the guy that knows a lot of Star Wars stuff. The Gungan Thunder? Yeah, Gungan Thunder, that guy. It must be me in trivia. It was close. Legitimately almost did. I won't say legitimate. 
but because of you, you <laughs> must Empire. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's so cool. It's like you're in New York and all of a sudden like yeah. all the sewers just blew up. Yep. <laughs> Right? Have He's just a space Nazi, you know? Yeah, I got a rocket launcher. The Nazi with the launcher. See if this works. Launch me up. And yes, it worked. We'll work again there. Ah! Ah! Well, you have push now. Will this work? <laughs> <laughs> it's loose. That is fine. Enemy position reached. Oh, oh, oh. He didn't die. Oh, he had a grenade. What? He died. He did. He's a hero. Good, good. Yep, yep. Oh. Ooh, get in there, I think. That force was pushable, or is that? No. He was. He was. Oh! Uh, gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Yep. You need a stem, man. Rocket gun. I need help. What's this? Oh no! no, no, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That was uh, something. You got so distracted. Hey, what's this? I was like, oh, they stopped. Maybe they won't attack me during this time. And then they did. And then attack, attack, blow. Oh, that's so funny. I think I meditate right there. Oh! oh! Regardless of like, he doesn't give a shit if he's firing at Fred. He's like Tarkin. He's like Jim. Get out of the way. I will fire. Oops. Too quick. Look out, Jim! <laughs> Jim. Jim's It'd be funny if he just left. <laughs> Whoa. All right. All right. That, that, there's a door down there. Did I kill all the guys? Yeah, what the, yeah, it looks like it. Oh, there's one more left, but okay. Yay. An echo. Getting a strange feeling from this one. Ancient Zepho gathered here. I wonder why. Uh, remains of ancient wares crafted by the Zepho, perhaps used for ritual. Hmm. I have the wares if you have the coin. Oh, I can go that way now. Yeah. Might as well get my stims back. And then run. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. They won't even they won't even see me. They won't even see it? Yeah, they won't even notice I'm there. I'll just follow in my plans? I'll just walk away. See? Look, no one's here. Huh. Huh? They're all right there. See they didn't know. Are we alive again? Yes! There's a Jedi! Hiya! Oh, that's so cool to do it in there. Oh man, a battle droid. Or that's battle a probe droid. droid. A probe droid. But if they had battle droids, noise. Jeez. Okay, that was weird. I reflected him once back in the day. Oh. Uh, Caleb Diaz says there's an Obi Wan edit coming called Trials of the Master from a VFX Andor editor. Looks great. Also, I play Grandmaster and I have a new respect for Aaron. I did see a thing of the Trials of the Master. Someone's doing kind of like a remaster. Oh, really? Uh, with their own ideas and stuff, which I think is a, it's a really cool editing exercise. Uh, it's never something that I think, like, personally, that I'm always like, I want this, this is better. Uh, but it is really cool editing exercises. That's cool. Uh, uh, I'm to my way back. My well, you can open that one door now, right? The green door. Oh, yeah, door. I should open that right uh -huh. there. Yeah, let's go there. And then Furphy, Super Chat, consider doing Star Wars podcast with guest Kyle Katarn. 
Yeah, uh, I speak to Kyle and DMs on Twitter a lot. Uh, unfortunately, he won't be at Celebration this year, but we'll make something happen at some point. Yeah, that'd be cool. And then SKNC15. Hey guys, big fans. Have you, are you, going to read the books in the Light of the Jedi series? I'm two-thirds of the way through the second one, and it's awesome. Uh, are you meaning the High Republic? The Light of the Jedi was the first Light one, Light of the right? Jedi is the first of the High Republic. Yeah, so uh, we are, we've done two this. so far. Yeah. It's a giant Zepho statue. Kind of thought there would be Zepho stuff inside. Where's the giant Zepho statue? Yeah, I don't know where he talked about that. It, am I inside the giant Zepho statue? Is that oh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, that must be it. Didn't know there was stuff inside. Uh, where'd you... Where'd you, where'd you take me? Order's fine. Oh. Acquire an upgrade. This is the scoff link? Yes! Yeah, you're right. I think I could replace yours with this. Let's get you fixed up. I need a scoff link so bad. I know, he's so funny. He just picks up his foot. Yeah. Big little puppy. How's that? <laughs> yeah, I'll I think it would be fun out. to have other conversations with other like Star Wars YouTuber YouTubers and content yep. creators, but Absolutely. also like just other people in the industry with Star Wars thinking mm -hmm. too. Definitely. Slice it! Pop it! You ran me my leg, you see that? It did. Oh. Jesus Christ. That helps. Enemy below. Oh, jeez. Where'd you come from? Dang, you see him? He, did. he like reverse <laughs> scorpion. He, he did. Who's over there? Ah, Aaron. I, I did on purpose to catch him off guard. Uh, Aiden Glean with a super chat. Hey, guys. You are my favorite YouTube channel. Been a Star Wars fan all my life. Thanks for providing great content. Ah, uh, well, good. Thank you so much, Aiden. I'm glad, glad that you're a Star Wars fan all your life. <laughs> And that you can enjoy Star Wars with this as well. It's my favorite thing about fandom and especially something like Star Wars, where like as long as two people like that, they have so much to talk about. Even if they disagree about so much other stuff, you know? Yeah. Um uh, run through that. I wouldn't now! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say you need to run through that. Or on no, not on top of it. Dude, respect. Jeez, he got force pushed and answered right back. He did. Thing, so now we can leave here. Like, yeah. So should we head to oh, oh, that yeah, is the giant that. statue. Yeah, a huge yeah. statue, but it's filled with aerial parts. So should we go to the right where we couldn't scomplink before? Or should we head back to the ship and head to Kashyyyk? Probably where you couldn't scomplink before, I would say. Right. Anyways, this one. There's a box back there, someone said. You missed a box? What, what box? Was it the place that we landed? Where? I got one in the place that we landed before, but unless yeah. it's in the scomp location, I might not have gotten that one. Uh, we could look real quick if there was a box that we missed. It could be the one that you just got before. Oh, Zelda! <laughs> Zelda! 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 Time you're jumping right, you, you get up. Much faster. Yeah, up top. Like so. Maybe you gotta get on top of that thing? Like, up, up? Nah, maybe not. I don't know. It's dangerous. Right. Is it up there somewhere? Oh, there's one. Oh, I see it. Oh! Aaron, ah! you mad man! 
that. Well, you can't do that. <laughs> you went flying up and died immediately. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh man. Okay, I can't hit any of that. <laughs> that was funny. That's good. Yeah. Right this way. there, yes. Hey, no. Oh yeah, we could see this when we were outside the window earlier. Yeah, yeah. okay. That's where we're going. Oculation. Oculation? That's kind of like Mando. Oh, that's more Mando-ish. Never mind. What's the difference? Uh, that one's metallic and gray, and that one's that dark. One's, metallic yeah, and it's, dark. It's more matte, right? Yeah. That one's got more of a shine. So I like the Naboo star fighter. Can I jump without dying? Earl Johnson, the super chat. The Acolyte is supposed to be coming next year on Disney Plus. Are you guys excited to see? Uh, I don't. I, I don't know if anything is going to be confirmed or not. But seeing more Sith in general, I'm excited for. Yeah, the Sith storyline. Like it could. It could be really cool if you get storylines of anything Sith related. Yeah. Really. Like I mean, there's tons of things you get into with like Bane and. Yeah. Plagueis What's and all that. Out, out there in the landscape, like, what is that up there? That crawling up, like, the tendrils. I don't know. Could is just it like be, a like, root vines system? and roots and stuff. Okay. Could be. Cool. Or it could be something else. Yeah. All right. Eventually we go out there. There's, like, a dead ship out there. Right? Oh, man. Years on this rock. Uh oh. They just were going to put in for his transfer, Aaron. I can't do this by myself. Oh no, oh no, 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 uh, sorry, Shoes, Shoes, <laughs> with the super chat, what is your first Star Wars movie in theaters? I have the niche privilege of having the Clone Wars movie as mine. Uh, mine is Star Wars Episode 1. Mine is the special edition of Star Wars Episode 4, when it came out uh, in the late 90s in theaters. Jason, also the super Whoa. chat, found you guys my DVD? my freshman. Oh, I don't hear the jokes. I'm sorry, Jason. We'll go back. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I want another joke. You didn't. You don't get it. I don't oh, speak, baby. I, I can't. You won't get it. It's a language thing. You need to. Jason, found you guys my freshman year of high school watching The Flash. The Flash. Aaron, listen to this. His freshman year of high school okay. with Flash. Okay. I'll graduate college next year before going to law school. Jeez. Do you feel old? No. <laughs> it's been like eight years that we've been doing this. Like yeah. April is about the the yearly annual mark for us. So yeah. We're at like an eight year point. So that sounds about right. That's we, we were that's doing crazy. Flash early on. It's cool that we can be a part of like entertainment for me back then was such an escape. It's cool to be a part of that for somebody for so long. It wouldn't work. Look at this thing! Ah. Ah. Oh! Jesus! Jesus! Help! BD, help! Oh, God! Oh, BD, help! Yes. Oh. Toss it! Alright, try this again. Direct it that way. Just go walk over there. Yeah. Have them deal with it. I was hoping them shooting would <laughs> be a problem there. Shoot the other guy. Alright, pull it. Oh. oh man, there's one behind me. Stop it! No! Probably because you're big glowing stick. You think that's a problem? Yeah. I think it's attracted to your lightsaber. Jeez. Aim for his legs. Smart, aim for his legs. Aha! Yes! Oh. He charged round three. Oh. If I run this one, maybe he'll ignore me and chase those guys. He did! Look! Hell yeah. Be quieter. Let's watch nature take its course. Nature. This is neat. Nature. 
I gotta just watch his friend be killed. Yeah, right. He's like, uh, nothing. It's like, I got a stick. <laughs> he was talking about his friend. You're dead. Oh, what's that? That worked out. That worked. Damn, I can't get out the door. That's a shame. Got a scan? I can scan him at least. Edgar Jorge Car uh, Costa says, Oh, Edgar. Hello, Eric and Aaron. I don't Hello. know if you remember me, but it's been a while since I last contributed to the channel. I still watch your channel regularly from your first patron, Edgar. Oh, thank you, Edgar. Or Ed Edder. I'm sorry, Edder. Oh, thank you, Edder. Edder Jorge Car Costa. Jackson, Super Chat, my first Star Wars movie in theaters was the Phantom Menace 3D release. That was a lot of fun. 3D release. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, we went to that one. Yep. And uh, Columbus IMAX. <laughs> Man, wow, okay. <laughs> Can you not go that way? There we go. Uh, Can't go that way. I need a force. Gotcha. The Jedi is here. Blast him. He already was before you did. One clean hit. Get him. Oh, there's the one clean hit. Two clean hits. Three. Yeah, all right. He was wrong about the one. The one clean hit. hit through here. Didn't help enough. Okay, Where yeah. does that door go? This he door? just opened. Yeah. Uh -oh. We have a super chat before. Nope. We're going right now. I'm taking him now. Oh. Yeah, he's the shooter. Oh, he's shooting lots of bullets. Oh. Yep. He's made to kill Jedi. What is that? That's a shame. Corey McGivney with a super chat. Hey, you two. Longtime fan. Hope you bo you're both well. I actually love Cities vs. Windu because of how camp and fun it is. I piss myself laughing every time. That screen sends me every time. Yeah, I actually actually kind of like the unlimited power and that stuff. It's just primarily the way that that scene is blocked. Damn, okay, I'm all the way back here. We're back, are we? All right. Yeah, you can change master Jaro's stuff. Yep, something cool. Right. You're the grandmaster. Something cool, Eric. Yep. Oh, yeah. But thank you, Corey. Is that Slivian Iron? Slivian Iron, yeah. Let's do Iron. Okay. Here's my saber now. Magnetic. And green! Green does go pretty well with Cal's hair. Look. Uh, you know what? I don't, I don't think I can do this. I haven't found a place to rest this whole time. I guess not. Oh man, I do have to go all the way around. There's no way back to yeah, that Yeah, you do. Old gamer. Aaron the boring Jedi with his default saber. Aaron the cool Jedi with his custom saber. <laughs> Make it look cool. It already is cool. Are you saying master? No, it's not cool. It's happening. It's, it's, it's weird. You can't touch anything. Well, yeah. It's heavy equipment. Bye. Bye. Well, you can keep doing it. I'm leaving. I can do this all day. Um. Found oh. you, intruder. Scrimshaw, how long do you think Palpatine had Anakin's Sith name picked out for? I think you made it up, like, right on the spot. I did? Uh, no. Henceforth, you Vader. shall be known as Darth Vader? <laughs> it didn't seem like it took that long to come up with it, right? Neither. I love how 
Bree and Palpatine's voice is in that scene. He hasn't spoken like that, like, truly as Emperor of the Galaxy yet. So it's really all down here. Oh, no! Do what must be done, Lord Vader. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. <coughs> Earl Johnson, with both Cal Kestis and Grogu, having been at the temple when Order 66 happened, do you think we will get Cal Kestis cameo Mando? Well, I, I don't believe that he was at the temple. I think he's on a Star Destroyer yeah. during Order 66. Yeah, he was not at the temple during Order 66. Yeah. Um, you actually we visit that in this. So. Yeah. But I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility to see Cal show up in some other media. Um, but I think that he's a great game, game character. No, I think it's... I think it's a great idea to make this game character look like the actor that voices him because then you can use him, you yeah. know? Caleb Diaz, uh, Super Chat, make your own Jedi Council from any 12 Jedi ever. That's a lot. But uh, I would probably put um, Jolie Bindo in there. Jolie? Jolie Bindo. Jolie. Jolie. We summon some friends. We got Kimmy G with a two hundred dollar super chat. Two hundred. You guys are awesome. Seriously, everyone can see how much you love. Ah! Everyone can see how much you love you have for Star Wars, and the amount of joy it adds to your lives. Thank you for consistently being a positive channel for the community. It means a lot, and genuinely makes it that much more exciting for all of us. Clap. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you, Kimmy. Now, there's already too much negativity out there. With was, all kinds of stuff. One of the motiv motivations of making Wave Squadron its own Star Wars channel was because, you know, as Blind Wave, yeah, we can have Star Wars on there and be a force, but specifically a Star Wars channel, we think we might be able to do some good in the community. A little help. Arm Trooper Command. All right. And then uh, Joshing with Super Chat. Doesn't say anything, but thank you, Joshing. Thank you. Incoming threat. Man, we've had some very generous people today. Thank you guys so we much. We appreciate it, guys. Yeah. I'm glad that you're... Uh, he's, got, he's got all your experience, Aaron. Let's do this. Now when he sh throws the grenade, maybe force push him? Oh! You hit him against the ratio! Oh, dude, he's dodging you like a... Like he's playing Dark Souls. <laughs> that oh, was red. What? That was red. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh man, shotgun. Yeah. I hate that move. Aaron, he has one hit point left. Dang it! Oh man! I just took down a trooper wearing black and red armor. Oh yeah, guys. The same type from Brock. I hate those little shotgun grenades. Their only purpose is to hunt you. Poor trooper commander. Is coming? It's possible, but we're far from Brock. They might think purge troopers are enough, or they could be stalling you on purpose. Stay wary. Let me look at the. Thank you. Is it this one? It's probably under Empire, honestly. Yeah! Agents of the Inquisitorious. Purge troopers are charged by the Empire to hunt down survivors of the treasonous Jedi Order. Operating in the shadows, their clandestine mandate is largely unknown, even among Imperial ranks, as they support Inquisitors across the galaxy. This specialized class is trained and equipped with a variety of weapons and tactics, but primarily attack with blasters and shock grenades. I hate those little grenades so, on the ground. Yeah, was, I look like a, their pauldron. Their armor so cool. and stuff. Uh, okay, I'm going that way. Alright. Oh, are we here? Yeah, we are, Eric. Mm -hmm. We're at the 
crash site. Skill tree. What do we want? What did I not get last time? Life. You so much, man. Enhanced survival skills. You're going life? Yeah, life. That's probably smart. I didn't get life last time. The other one I want is uh, enhanced force recovery. Yeah. We'll get there. Uh, I got this cool Andor shirt uh, in mailbag, so I'm sorry I can't answer where it came from, but I love I love it. Here's the crash site. Dude, the crash site in that. You see the uh, Star Destroyer? It's a Venator. There could be useful. Now, Aaron, did you do the Venator I'll try to find a in way your to it. playthrough? Did I like, go in there? Yeah. yeah, I went in there. It's an optional area. No, it's not. It's, it's completely it's, optional. It must be done. Completely optional. Moralon with a $50 uh, dollar, uh, super chat. Caravan of Courage, an Ewok adventure, was my first movie in the cinemas. Uh, it had a cinematic release in Australia. My nana took me, but left me halfway, but left halfway through as she didn't like kids' movies. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen the Ewok I've movies? I've never seen any of them. We'll have to do reactions of it. Hey, Grease, you busy? Well, yes. I was yeah. trying to watch the... You know. That's so cool. No, I'm not busy. Never busy. So, uh, you need something? I'm standing next to two crashed ships. Looks like you weren't the only pilot who had trouble with the wind here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just realizing that? Where have you been? I mean, it doesn't get better than me. Yeah, okay. All I wanted to say was thanks. Uh, you know, you're, uh... You're, you're welcome. Oh, shit. But, uh, I... You know, I gotta go. I, I gotta stay. So, gotta... Get them whittle them down a bit. Yeah. Jeez. Oh my god. A little bit. Are oh, you got back up? Oh. Jesus, more! Dang rat. Oh, jeez. Hello. Alright, you and me, rat. Or McGivney with the super chat. What is your fantasy lightsaber fight? Which two character, two or more characters, would you love to see have a fight? Oh, that's a super yeah. fantasy. Um. Oh, jeez. Oh, geez. goodness. Help. Oh, I rolled. I thought I missed. Oh. Give me rat. There you go. There you go. I mean, I know that he's been up some, some, some strange things lately, but this it's watching Ray Park do lightsaber fights is, is always a fantasy of mine. <laughs> like when we got to see that new stuff in Clone Wars Season 7, yeah. that was magic for me. I mean... I know that's not a character, that's a performer, but he just understands what it takes to make, pull that stuff off. There could be some cool moments with like... Even Cal fighting him or something, you know? Yeah. Um. I mean, there's ones I guess you could do oh, where it's like. They're watching us, BD. Dang it! I would like to see. Uh. Dooku. You know, it would be kind of fun. Dooku versus Qui Gon. Yeah. I no. think that would have a lot of really interesting dynamics in the choreography because of the character relationship. I enjoyed one of I the think books, I'd like to see that. One of the books we had had uh, Dooku fighting. Uh, oh, who was this other apprentice he had? Rail? Yeah. Mm hmm. Huh. What's that? A self destruct sequence? I didn't hear that hard. It probably reported. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's like a little area in there too. You wanna go in here? Uh, yeah. You won't be able to get super far, I don't think. Can we not? Should we come back? But there's a. No, uh, you can't get that chest yet either. Man, that thing did not. Still hadn't seen you. <laughs> I know. Like... Uh, Joshing, uh, with the super chat. If you could have any Star Wars droid or creature as a pet, who or what would you choose? 
I, I want to droid, I think. Oh, he didn't do a thing. There we go. Get away. Get away. Can I get okay. some aid? Like, a droid would be really cool Good to have, you know? Yeah. No, I get you. I would probably say a droid. A Kawaki monkey lizard, like... That like cool. laughs at your jokes would be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it makes you feel really good when someone laughs at your jokes. Yeah. Like, that'd be kind of fun. I just, I just have one of those on my shoulders all the time. Yeah. <gasps> Clone trooper voice. Clone trooper voice, yep. Commander was killed by a lightsaber. That clone trooper was killed by a lightsaber. Dead clone, but he wasn't killed in the crash. He appeared to have been killed by a lightsaber. Mm. This needs power. This is as far as we go here. Yep. But yeah, I definitely, I felt like I tried to go to every door I could find that was like red. Okay. Get everything opened up. Yeah. I, don't I, know, I know a couple people have talked about how they didn't even realize they could do that as an optional. It's area. just, there's so much, there's so much stuff sometimes. Like things keep opening up in yeah. areas you've already like explored, yeah. you thought, you know? It's like Zeppo has so many areas, right? There's the artifact area with all the Zeppo like. Yeah. Stuff, and then there's places where the empire is everywhere, mm -hmm. and there's a crash zone. We don't know what it's like, but it might be cool to have a mythosaur. Oh, oh man, that could be cool. Uh, Finan Farrell with the super chat. Hey guys, love all your videos, and your channel is such a positive space for Star Wars. Thank you. Thank you. Please, thank you. Oh, I'm scared me. Read that. Oh, dude, wrecked! I just got knocked. How far dude. have we done any saving? I think there's one right before okay. this area. All right, yeah, there is. That's right. Okay. Yeah. I was like, oh no, we're gonna go back to the Zephyr statue. I gotta use the bathroom real quick. I'm right back. All right, go ahead. We're just gonna. We already kind of went to the right. We'll go off to the left. Back over there. There's a area we haven't been to yet to the left. I don't know if we can do much else in this area. We might have to go back. Cal Kestis beat Darth Maul. I think he could survive from the Venator. I'd be doing See him? Empire isn't the only thing we have to worry about. I need to at least get my XP back before I move on here. It's a Jedi trait. Can I get a jump? If he had been born in the Republic, we would have found him. Ray shield. Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. Alright, well I guess we come back here. Yeah, I, guess I this whole area will remember that here. area being something that opens up too. There's a little hole over here that we didn't go in. Yeah. I think this will connect back up. Yeah. There's also an underground area on this planet, too. I don't think we've gotten to yet. No. There is a... Yeah, okay. As far as storyline goes, yeah, we're between episode three and four. We're about... What are we now? Five, Five years, years after Revenge of the Sith. What could have caused such a thing? Drown. Someone drowned. Sir Sis a lot uh, says, Can I move up there and be your fifth crew member? LOL. Love you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I mean, that kind of is what the viewers are meant to be, the fifth crew member. Sure. Sorry, buddy, not you. Yeah. This is water. Yeah. What's wrong what with is, the water? What are you doing? What did the water do to us? Damn, that was weird. Just get up nice there. Store. <laughs> you know, when I played this game, I don't remember having all these glitches, but Calvin talked about playing on the PS5 and having a lot of glitches. Yeah. And it seems like we're having some here, too. Yeah, I mean... In a lot of open games too, it just it's just something that happens a lot. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things they don't expect you to do or whatnot, and it just kind of changes it. Alright, cool. That's better now. Real three R one K super chat. I love you guys and all the work you put into making our days better. I can't wait to watch the Bad Batch finale reaction. It was fun, yep. Eric. Yep. I think his name's Real Eric. Real Eric. Oh, okay. That makes speed. Leap speed. Sense, oh. right? <laughs> He's like, that makes feet. That makes feet. I'm like, what's that? What does that mean, Eric? It's been a long day. <laughs> oh, here you go, Eric. This is what you were thinking of, right? Yeah, I remember this. Dun 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 Shut the rat. He did shoot the rat. What if I stay right here? He's confused. Oh. Looks like that fell out right before he killed him. <laughs> um, there is big guy over there. Look at that. Griffin with the super chat. Thank you, Griffin. Let's open up this shortcut. Head back to the ship. See her? I'm under an Imperial dig site. We got a lot further than we thought. We can't worry about that now. The Empire's identified you as the Jedi from Braca. They're searching for the Mantis as we speak. Can't you move the Mantis? It's too risky to start the engine. Its power discharge will draw their attention immediately. I'll be back as fast as I can. Long elevator. We went really low. Yeah. Hey, I remember these being a uh, long loading zone elevators. Darth Rosk says you should collab with Star Wars Theory. Love y'all. Uh, I met Star Wars Theory at what two celebrations ago? We saw him outside of the uh, Vader Immortal. Oh uh, yeah, I remember you saying about that. Yep. I don't think I met him. I think you did. You were playing whenever. I think that I was happened. playing Vader yeah. Immortal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check yeah. It out. Oh, that's that. He's eating that trooper again. Scout trooper baton. Mr. Bear, twenty dollars, uh, or twenty pounds. I'm sorry, I got used to pounds. Twenty again. pounds, Eric. Uh, as someone who has been around since the early days of Blind Wave, two hundred K subs. I'd just like to say thank you. Cal, we've got a walker firing on us. And our oh, you got a walker. Is that him? Tell him he better get his butt. Hold on, I'm on my way. All right, Aaron, you got that ATST. The ats. Just joined the Discord, so can't wait to make new friends. Your friend from the UK, Bristol, Big Bear Commando. Thank you, Big Bear Commando, Big Mr. Bear. Bear and yeah, guys, check out our, our Discord. You can find the, uh, the link in all of our YouTube. Oh. Oh. Should be. I don't know if you have to charge it up or not. Get behind us. Tough. Heal. Yeah. Well, those are gonna blow up. Ah! Well, at least it's shooting you and not the mantis. Uh, nah, the mantis! Sorry. Aaron, what'd you do? Freeze was just fixing that! Uh, He's gonna be so mad. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that, that was a lot of damage too. There we go. Almost got him. Uh -oh. oh, I was out of force power. Shoot! 
Not good. Sir so Sinola, this fight gives me Shadows of the Empire on X64 vibes. Yes, you're right. left but you can't hit him you are rolling like blink through viral field Ooh. all right Aaron it's not over yet there's one more thing to kill look at him squaring up with a Jedi look at him he's so great I gave him a chance to stop. You got him right in the face. He could have not done that. You're right. If he just got up and walked away, I'd let him. Yeah, he didn't, yeah. He didn't do that. Yeah. All right, good fight. Bye. Oh, well, you know what? I'm G sorry. GG's. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> just tell me that. You shot the guy in the face. Now, I found the tomb of a Zepho sage. Yes. They definitely yeah. use the force. An advanced civilization of force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zeppo journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Kashyyyk? I, look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. So we better get ready for a fight. Hal's pretty chipper right now, isn't he? Yeah. He he is, just because he's doing something. He has a direction to go, you know? He's, uh, what, what his prop say, his destiny lean is fine. Yeah. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? I mean, with the force? Lipstick yeah, yeah, is off. the force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. Yeah, this isn't it? Like, like crazy. I'm not talking about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the Purge started, and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. The Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan, Trilla. Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings. But they caught me. And they tortured me. They wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went. But you escaped. No. I think it's it was good riot. I saw my opportunity and I, I, don't know if I took it. Pause and reset or anything? But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? <laughs> no. It's like an old Asian dub. Yeah. It's like walking out of Jackie Chan movie. That's why we can't give up. It's like the... No. It's it's like, they they move them out so much more. Why do they say no? Be for nothing. The game seemed fine. I didn't know yeah. issues the game. Dude, your plant. That's the plant. Wait, no, that's, that's the seed over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm rooted. I just wanted to see it. Yay! New seed planted. Gilly pod. Gilly pod. But it's gotta grow. Yeah. Gilly um, pot. Some gilly weed. <laughs> uh, Lightless says, which live action project do you think Cal will appear in first? And have any of you read Battle Scars yet? Love the content. Keep it up. Everything okay? Oh, great. Just enjoy We're some working on Battle Scars. That'll be in the next podcast. Yes. And Which then is uh, April twenty seventh. Yeah. Please. Please, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. I'll leave her alone. She's, All right, she's, she's buffering. She's gotta fix that Luke. that sink okay, issue. Okay. I Cordova see, I see. had supplies hidden all over Bagano. Could be worth a trip back to explore. Uh, now that we have force push, what do we have to do? Uh, I think we should go to Kashyyyk. Yeah, I think Look Kashyyyk that. is where we're gonna get double jump, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Two of 16 chests, three of six secrets. I like that they did that. Yeah, right? me too. 43% explored here. That's yeah. all we did. It's 43. I know. 14% of Dathomir. Yeah. Let's go to Kashyyyk. Okay. 
Not back to death, man. Love the humidity. We could go to there, I guess, now. It'd probably be easier. It might be easier. You know, you never told me how you became a Jedi. I was discovered by a Seeker when I was very young. They took me to the temple to train. Oh, yeah. Seekers. We need to restart the game to fix the sink. You have no idea what a Seeker is, do you? Do we? That's what Koku was said. They seek things? Yes. They're Jedi sent to find and retrieve young Force sensitives. Like the ones on that hollow. I was a seeker. Uh, she was whoa, a seeker. Oh, you know what this means. I didn't discover Cal, if that's what you're thinking. No, it means I'm a seeker, too. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Seeker Grease. It seems okay now, but in the cinematic, yeah. it was... Time to land. Get up here. That makes sense why she's so concerned with, like, the next generation of Jedi saving the order that she was a seeker herself. Well... That's occupied. Tell me we're not running that blockade. Oh, only as a last resort. I break the Mantis' transponder to transmit Imperial signals. Hey, Grease. Yeah. Keep your power sheet each low and act like we belong. Just like Bracca. No sweat. Still a little bit off. I don't we can do a restart. Set of hand. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. All right. Please. All right. All right. It looks so strange without seeing the fin. Yeah, from, from below here. Yeah. I don't see anything. Preoccupied with something on the ground. We're clear. This was the one of the first things we had ever seen from uh, Fallen Order was this opening of Kashyyyk, right? Yeah, I think so. It's a great shot. That doesn't look good. The Empire is devouring Kashyyyk for its natural resources. Why are they devouring every planet? Why do you devour every meal? This is fun. Oh my god. <laughs> It is weird. It is weird, but it's kind of interesting too. If we get caught up in that battle, never seen this before. Hey, if you've ever seen this before, subscribe, everybody. <laughs> so what's your plan? Sabotage. Sabotage. We used to scrap walkers on Braca. I'll just jack one. <laughs> get a load of the kid. He thinks we're back in a Clone War. Captain, get us near those walkers. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Those walkers double as troop transport, so once you get inside, be careful. No freeze grease to work this magic. Hey, freeze no, no freeze grease. Stay alive down there. I'll add it to the plan. Right if you're jumping, you better do it now, kid. You ready for a swim, BD? <laughs> All right. Want to give us a? I don't know if we can save here. I don't know. To restart. <laughs> it got back up too. Oh, the water ripple. It's... You can definitely tell they put a lot of effort into showing this off. <laughs> this part of the game. Yeah. Like a weird shadow block. Yeah, our audio the the something's wrong with the PS5 in terms of its sync. When we can we're gonna do a, a save and a restart, but we don't want to lose any progress because yeah. we haven't gotten to the meditation circle. Wonder how we get inside. Yeah, I'll try to save somewhere in here. I imagine it's like an auto thing at this point, right? Because like if I die here, it's probably. It something. should save here since a new gameplay sequence. You never know. I mean, we can just try. Sure. Yes. Worst case, I gotta fight a thing again. I know why it's happening, though. You know why, right? I don't know. No, we're in a poncho. 
Eric, you're not wearing a poncho. I know, that's the problem. Hope that work. We'll see what happens. Mr. Bear with a 20-pound 20, uh, 20 super chat. Hello there, Big Bear Commando here again. Big Bear. Did you know Bristol was, is the home of the legendary David Prowse, Darth Vader, and his accent is Bristolian, not Scottish, as everyone in the Star Wars documentary say. Hmm, interesting. I did not know that. It was a like Gorian Shard cameo when I was climbing those vines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. All right. Let's see. We're going to start in that Zephyr statue. <laughs> no, we'll start before the ATST. Okay. That, that's the last place I was at. I think. Yeah. All right. Uh, load journey. And, uh, well. Melody says it happens because the game was open during rest mode. You can guilt Aaron to wear the awful ponchos. You can't guilt Aaron to wear it. Damn. We'll have to make sure we just turn it off whenever next time. All right. I just hit continue. I don't know where it put me. Okay. Oh Whoa! my god, did you see that? Awesome! I've this? never seen that before. Like, I don't think anybody's ever seen that before. Who would stop and restart the game after this? Right, once you're here, you're not yeah. stopping. You're That's probably way. the first time it's ever been seen. Mr. Twister says, only 600 viewers for this awesome live stream. It's outrageous! It's unfair! Alright, we're gonna climb this Gorian shard. I'm glad there's vines here for us to climb up with. Hell yeah. I love this. This is so legless with the Luma kill. <laughs> I think of Shadow of the Colossus. Okay. Ah, uh, sure, yeah, yeah. I get you. There's a guy up there, huh? Yep. I love its beard. It's gory and shard beard. It is kind of gory and shardy. Yeah. Almost there. Thanks, BD. Climb to the top. Gee, stop shooting at me. What is shooting at you? What's blue? Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. That Republic gunship fried that dude. Think about where you need to go, Aaron. Look at that. There's a yep, bike there. There is. There you go. Wait, I just jump on the speeder bike? That's weird. Hit the center switch. Oh, I got Jam the com links. That's a weird way to get through this place. It's tight. It's not that big. Simple. Your turn to report fatalities. What? Uh, <laughs> seven two four zero reporting in. <laughs> We've got confirmed casualties. I love that. Uh, How do they not know? Well, I know that they know I'm a Jedi because I like to, but like, the guy responded like, it's the Jedi! Like, how do they know it's the Jedi? Well, they are tracking you across two planets. So, it could be that the Empire is aware. Is that what it is? I think so. Right? Because they, they, they identified you as a Jedi that escaped uh, Baraka when you were on Zepho, so. They brought more firepower than we thought. How's our hull looking? Badly damaged. We're at 70% integrity and falling. That should still be enough to stop out these insurgents. Keep us steady. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It'd be funny if you, the longer you waited, they were like, 60%. Yeah, right? 50%. Distract them, BD. Uh. 
Huh? It actually worked. <laughs> okay, uh, throttle. Report. It's a two over there. It is. You're in violation of Imperial Can you shut that guy up. Stand down or we won't have. She's like, Let's do this. This is a cool part. You always yeah. fight. So those are the black I know. <laughs> Legs. Uh, Mr. Stalking Ninja, five dollar super chat. Love that you guys are playing through this again, Eric. Would you rather have uh, real Chaos Blades or Leviathan Axe? Hey, <laughs> who are you? Someone who just brought an ad to the table. Who are you? Someone making the Empire angry. We're back to the imp landing it's battle. Cool it's With my fire support. Copy that. Let's make him even angrier. I love the grapple gun in this. Uh, Leviathan X is the answer. Eric, I just blew up one of those, uh, minor things. Oh, the troop transport, yeah. Yeah, I love that the console itself is giving you the feedback for yeah, your laser it's, stuff. it's my HUD. Yeah, it's so cool. Very, uh, squadrons. Has Saw Gerrera been the character that's been the most, like, TV shows and stuff? Like, things these days? No, no, no. Wow, so much. Like just like he's not like a main character all the time. Yeah, protect he's the drill fighters. Clone Wars, Bad Batch, Rebels. Andor. I mean, other than like R2. R2 and Rico. Rico is Is that right there? Yeah. Whoa, Jesus! What did you shoot? Propane? Maybe. <laughs> Love these tie fighters. Oh, hey. I don't know if you died. Can you die here? I don't know. Has anybody ever died here? You want to watch? Oh, my goodness. Let's see if you died. Don't do anything. I don't know. Let's <laughs> see. Yeah, there is a health indicator of the thing up there. Yeah. What's he doing? Is there a fire? Maybe. Can you blow up in this ATH? I don't know. Like, I'm not shooting this big ship. That one seems to be the thing doing the most damage. Yeah. Can I go up? Uh, look up now? No, not much has changed. I don't feel like that's changed at all. I'm gonna throw a hole at everything. I like it when you really start shooting those things yeah. on it. <laughs> Fire exactly 66 shots, Aaron. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's been so long. I feel like I would have died. Yeah, I feel like it too. It's headed for us. Can we do anything? Hold on! We ain't crashing into this thing. Kill us. Brace yourself, BD! Way more injured. That would have been nice to be able to use, you know? Yeah. That shuttle may be friendly, don't shoot it. I tried. <laughs> Even it's confused. The music stopped. Even it's confused while we're still here. <laughs> It'd be funny if you did blow up yeah, and then okay. this still happened. You yeah, you know? that'd be cool. No, you're not doing that again. 
Can we do that again? You just wrecked a perfectly good walker. It crashed into me. Got a name? Cal Kestis. So Guerrero. What are you doing on Kashyyyk? Looking for somebody. What are you doing here? My companions and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt and pill supply lines. Hey, it's cool to see. It's awesome to see. That's a cool to land and be able to look down. Yeah. So, who are you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? He's the freedom fighter. You think Gungi is a symbol of the planet right now? Strategy the Empire from the Shadowlands. Should be, right? Is yeah. theory? Greece? This is Saul. How you doing? So he could be anywhere, really. What do you want with or Tarful? nowhere. Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Go Not back to your drinks. <clears throat> Get that over corpse? The master gave it to me. Ooh. This fire supports an cool. imperial refinery that runs on Wookiee slave. That Wookiee carrying it for his mega. Yeah. suggests that some of the captives there are guerrilla fighters. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Tarful. It's possible. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. The Manish works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but it is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go, go. Open it. All right, should All right. we stick here or should we go to death? What do you want to do? You got a new skill point too. And uh, if I go to death, mirror, I can go get the saber. There's a lot of people you can talk to here, and at least like they will start too. to speak. Yeah. Not that's not he, one of them. You won't, you won't talk. That's not one of them. He's speaking, but he's whispering. Really, over here could be supplies inside this walker. You okay, I'm, I'm fine. Phew. Don't need supplies oh, that bad. Maybe a little bruised, but it's not so bad. Don't scare me like that. I need you around. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Can't talk to there me. must be something useful in this heap. I can't talk to anybody. Well, I'm just meaning like people will do things when you get close. <laughs> Wait, what BD won't want? Uh, I don't know. Did he get off your back? Yeah. He's going over there. Scanning that. The walker. Yeah, the walker. Hey, thanks. This is nothing here. Ah, oh, there's nothing in there to loot. Okay. That's the basics I picked up in school. Thank you much, little one. We'll wait for Saw signal. Okay. Yeah, see, you can do stuff. That was neat. You doubt me. You doubt. There's more. Look at this thing. Like passage shit, maybe. I don't know. Worse here than on Zepho. Did you say Zepho? I used to live there before the Empire came. Oh, Do you know it? Yeah, I've been. It's horrible what happened. We weren't able to fight back. But here, with the Wookiees, we have a chance. Thank you for standing with us. Marianne. A brave fighter. Mariana, uh, I don't know if that's how you Mariana, say it, yeah. serves Saul Guerrero's forces on the besieged world of Kashyyyk after losing her husband on Zepho. Oh, her journey takes her across the galaxy in her battle against the Empire. So you think she's the one who escaped in our vision that we had with like, the kid? very possible. Uh, maybe. I mean, I don't know where her kid could, could be, but... Is there, there's more people over that way, too. But Eric... I see him. He's so good. It's going to take him a while to get there, wherever he's going. She's in no condition to fight. You're right. There's no time. Stay strong until we get back. But we're not going to leave for a bit. So stay strong until we get back. I heard Saw's hoping to find some news of Tarful at the refinery. A report came in this morning that he's been seen in the Shadowlands. The Shadowlands. Eric. Shadowlands. One Imperial transmission pinned him near a Wookiee village, as if there aren't hundreds of those in the area. Stormtroopers. Aaron, what are you doing? You're using your Jedi sorcery on them! I'm trying to get him to move with the Force. Okay. I don't think there's anyone down here. I don't think so. That's it. It's 
Grimshaw says, Hey Eric, off topic, but do you have plans for a reaction to the new Dragon Ball movie? Love you guys. Great reactions today. I do. Garrisons. The Empire won't have time to send reinforcements. Are we on? be okay. If we can do it quick. Saw's seen us through worse. I've got nothing but respect for that man, but this isn't a forest skirmish. I hope this we're guy ready. This disappeared on the train. See his face? Yeah. Supposedly he's a droid. Yeah. Isaac Clark. But anyway, yes, I actually recorded a reaction to Dragon Ball Super Superhero this week. It was crazy. Thanks for the help. Cash. <laughs> Missed a chest down there, Sidon said. We don't want to miss chest, Aaron. Is it down? Maybe down there. We didn't down play there with too much. People. What? What? Where are you going? Hmm. Gonk. He's interested in the gonk too. And the gonk. Gonk droid. Gonk droid. Gonk droid. EG-6 power droids, also known as gonk droids, serve as portable power generators in mobile operations or in situations lacking a stable power source. They are utilized by civilians and military alike, often emitting a low honking noise that sounds like the word gonk. Gonk. The Force showed me something on Zepha. Memories of someone named Ostar. My partner. Yeah. He distracted the stormtroopers so I could escape with our daughter. He was always impulsive. Is he? Yeah. I found his body. Part of me wanted to believe he escaped. I'm so sorry. No, don't be. I'm glad I know the truth. Well, that's confirmed. That's cool that we can do that. We yeah. can't allow the Empire to destroy more worlds. All right, let's find this chest. Run. I don't remember ever going down here, honestly. Oh, it is. Over there, yeah. How about that? Oh, dim apples. Mm. Apple sauce, bitch. Oh, all right then. So what's get... in there? <gasps> Rainforest poncho, Aaron. This is the perfect poncho. Put it on. Look like that. Yeah, it looks great. It looks like kind of like Saul Guerrero colors a little bit. Put it on just so, let's just get a, a vibe. A vibe check. Why is all all we have is ponchos? Let's vibe check it. All right, now, now, go back in there. See, look how good that looks. Now I'm not even joking. I really like the yellow stripe. <laughs> <laughs> Poncho. Oh, there's another thing. Try right to here, slice so. into this one. Hey now. Did you find something, BD1? Sundari? Huh. What did it say, Sundari Dawn? Sundari Dawn. So, Dawn. Sundari is the Mandalorian city, right? I mean, there is huh. a Sundari. Kind of matches your green. All right. Mr. Bear, Big Bear Commander here once more. Got to head off. Eric, Blind Wave CEO. Have you ever thought about doing a UK tour or extended trip? If so, and came to Bristol, you'll eat and drink in my pub for free. Aw, oh, thank you so you much, Bear. You have a pub? Yeah, a pub. That sounds cool. I like to eat Wait and drink. Wait a minute. I have one stem, half health. Yeah, you should go on the ship. We're going on a ship meditating. Yeah, that's smart. And then it's Bram uh, with the super chat. Hey, guys, do you ever think you'll watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Probably at some point. Maybe. Um, and yeah, as far as... Hey, look how fast this thing grew! It grew real fast. Yeah, I don't know about any UK tours specifically, but if we can get chances to be able to travel, it's always fun meeting viewers from different places. It is, definitely. Brett Balmer. I don't even know if I want to read this. Is Eric being paid off by Big Poncho? That, that makes is sense. an outrageous accusation. And if you're going to bring that to my stream, you need proof. You'll be talking to my lawyer. I got to text my lawyer. Yes, Eric. They're on to me. 
Don't say it out loud with the text. <laughs> I can't. I can't text while saying it. Ah, uh, further dash strike? Yeah, let's you do wanna, that. You want the dash strike? Okay. Well, I have the dash strike business. Further. Farther. I can Farther. go real far. Big Poncho, the idea of like big tech, big pharma. And, yeah. Or is it is Big Poncho like a like a big hoodie, like an actual brand kind of thing? It would be my rap name. Your were, rap if name? If I were to would be... Big Poncho. I think that's a good one. Big Poncho. Big Poncho. That's what you chose? They call me Big Poncho. I like it when they call me Big Poncho. <laughs> Poncho. Alright, that looks a little better, Aaron. This all should be at the other end of this trench. What, the health or the Poncho? The health. And the poncho. Look at that monkey up there! He judges you. And he looks away. Yeah, I was so uninteresting to him, he looked he away from me. He shunned you. <laughs> There's another one right there. Let him in! I was afraid of cutting him. Oh, nope, he's, he's fucking chill, man. These these monkeys are chill. Look, a workbench. <laughs> Scott Frank! Oh! Oh, God! Ah! That was so good. I remember it now, but oh, yeah. Oh, the webbing. Take we this! Ah. Get away from him, you filth! Scan him. Why is everything on Kashyyyk got Wish. so many Ys? Wishok? Wishok? I guess. Wishoks are highly intelligent, multi leg predators. They are found to be extremely aggressive. Uh. I, I can't do like a Steve Irwin. That'd be good to do a Steve, Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin? With sharks are highly intelligent, multi leg predators. I can't do it. <laughs> Let me start with like Crikey. Crikey! They are found to be extremely aggressive. I, I, it'll See, be offensive. It's better than yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> it'll be offensive. Yeah. Uh, uh, the most sentient life forms and known to cast an adhesive enzyme that incapacitates their prey in a web like stasis. Allowing them to strike with their sharp and venomous fangs. I might be able to do the guy that does Planet Earth, the uh, Adabra, or whatever his name is. Oh, Steve? Yeah. Wisely outsmarting any foe, they often lower quickly in the forest canopies or burrow to the surface from underground cover. If possible, prey should avoid any web strike, but if caught, fight to escape before the Washock closes in. That's not bad. That's better. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. Takes too long, though. Their hostility may provide strategic opportunities for a surprise attack from behind. Although capable of quick maneuvering, they occasionally fit themselves, uh, find themselves susceptible to strikes in the head or appendages. Oh, let me go any lower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta work on my Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin? Yeah, you gotta start with things like cry kit. Yeah. How much current yeah. can you conduct? Oh, now we get the power power. Sweet. Power oh, this transformer, I bet you can short circuit Imperial Tech. So you could probably go back to that thing on uh Yeah. Dude, now we got a transformer. We got a transformer. Alright, cool. Very cool. Hmm. it. Let's try it. Yes. Sir David Adabra. If I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, it is out of ignorance, not disrespect. Just checking on you. Hey, uh, Hey there, BD1. BD1. Well, you did it. I wonder. I don't think you can get to there yet. Maybe not. You probably got a double jump. Alright. We'll be back this way. Monkey! That monkey does not care. He's like the honey badger. Yeah. Okay. Go. Cool. It looked like they blew up. 
They did. Oh, I could have scanned him. Oh. We'd be scanning. Right, get a little bit more height. Whoop! Jedi! Over here! Oh, that was back Oh, yeah, okay. Like, Jedi, over there! <laughs> Alright, so, what you got to tell me? Imperial Sap Refinery lies dead ahead. What does the Empire want with tree sap? Nothing good. They refine the sap into a powerful compound, and they're rushing to expand production. Powerful compound. Compound to do what, though? Sap. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know they're in game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we've recovered proves it. Here you go, bud. I like BD. These cool refineries design. double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. We can do that. Watch yourself in there. Oh, it's so cool here. <laughs> Look at that Wookie. You hear that? Said he needs my help. Come on, buddy. That's good. I like the way he just kind of chills on you. Yeah. Uh, Chase Gardner says, Eric, can you do an Andy Circus voice? Caesar or Gollum or Snoke? Uh, I can't do Gollum very well. Snoke is like, uh... Uh, you know. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Oh, but that's kind of like real low. Uh, apes together, strong. But I can't really do one very well. I, I would need to listen to it for a bit. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I remember this part a little Probably. bit. Anything hey, meditate right here. Nice and cool. You see, sweet. Let's go free some Wookiees. Wookiees. Yeah, Calvin is definitely the mimic of our group. He's so good at it. He needs to do it with more confidence, though. Every time I asked him to do it, he's always like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, come on, man. You got the goods. You got the touch. That one. Oh my gosh. You feel like a it makes you feel like a Jedi man. One hit and all of those guys. Dang, that guy's tough. Yeah. In here. Hmm. Wookie warriors left this. They use this place as a hideout in the battle against the Empire. Uh -huh. Well, he's in hiding. Yeah, that's what I want to do. All right. I remember this area sucking. No! It was a danger to us all. He was there and he was innocent! We literally could have just erase his memory and he could have been like a solid parasite. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. He can't match us. Oh, my. Okay, that felt like me being a Jedi if I had a stormtrooper. Yeah, felt good. <laughs> I think there's a purge trooper through here. Huh? No way. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is what I've trained for. This is what I've trained for. He's good. But you're a Jedi Master, Aaron. Oh, got him. And a skill point? And a skill point. Wow. I'll fix that. Never seen a trooper like that before. You gotta get 
Alright, in the vents we go. Droid Slaughter! I'm taking back my super chat, says Scarecrow. <laughs> Is the droid? I won't support droid murder! <laughs> Look, I like that. I like BD, like, yeah, taking off the other way cool. and kind of following him. Tight fit. Yeah. Huh, BD? These fucking things. They're so big. Ugh. Oh, that's a flamethrower. Take him out first. That's smart. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, another? Oh, too many of them. Oh, you can scan him. Scan the flamethrower. The other one. Scan him. There you go. Must be that one. Immediately. All right, I guess we go up this way. Specialized flame. I feel like you have to be, I guess you have to be specialized a little bit, huh? You just point and shoot. You sure you want to plug into this know. thing? Okay. Oh man. Yep. A lot of mining equipment. Oh, <laughs> That's why you wanted to move this thing. You had no idea that was there, did you? Go. You just wanted to turn that cutter on. You had no idea, did you? Alright. Oh, yeah, this part. Okay. Doug says, I just realized that Saul told Cal to use the cutters to create a distraction, and that's why BD1 does it. Yeah. Sure. Because that works. You're gonna save that skill point? Uh, well, yeah, I am now. Alright. Spiders! I would let the flame guys maybe deal with the spiders. <laughs> should have stayed up there. Reloading. You have to deal with me now. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Go down there. <laughs> They're dealing with them. Not that well. Dude, he got webbed and then thrown off. They know I'm here. Spiders? I don't know. Why not? Oh, you got webbed, webbed son! Oh, Aaron. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Help! Stim! Dang, it's such a long jump, dude. Help! BD1! Got the spiders. All the spiders dead. There's a bees. Come here, bees. One. He wants to scan. Yeah, he wants right, to scan something. Something we can use? What you looking at? Dunium. Oh, and new Bonjour. More than wise. Cool. Um, isn't there like a secret little area? There's this With way, like... and then the top left, I think, there was a thing. Isn't like a really oh, big spider Yeah. Thing Oh god, there it is! Your memory is flawless! <laughs> Alright, big spider, I'm gonna get one health here. The albino. Or shark. Ugh. Oh man. Dang, my dodge. My block. Took you out, my friend. That's a strong spider. 
Wrong, Spider. You rule Aaron has put on every poncho he finds. I just put on a new poncho! <laughs> now I'll use that skill point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think there's one for more force powers or something I have. I got the health one already. I got BD's thing. Maximum forces increase. That's two points, two points. I could get... Uh, what is this? Special attack with increased range. Hmm. Let's do this. Or force. Brett Baumler says this game has Dathomir, Kashyyyk, and Ilum. What returning planets from other media do you want in Survivor? I'm hoping for Jetta or Ryloth. Um, Ryloth is kind of cool. Um, good one. Andura might be kind of cool. Balguerera's place. Iriadu? Cool. Cool. Yeah, Iriadu would be interesting. <laughs> Andura would be cool because they had that kind of like Aztec, Mayan -like architecture with the giant castle and stuff. Yeah. And then the uh, flying beasts. Is, you know, that could be interesting. What if you got captured? By Trandoshan and sent to that moon and had to like, like being hunted. That'd be oh, crazy. that'd be crazy. Like last time you got caught by uh, the bounty hunters, right? Yeah, but, uh, the the brood. Yeah. What are they called? Axiom brood or something. Something like that. All right, that was much better. It was. Want to fight the albino spider again? All right, he's got your. There's something experience. in there. He's got something in there. Yeah, he doesn't. Oh come on! Again? I think maybe it makes it down. Yeah, maybe. Quick, help! Umbara, someone said. That'd be cool. That'd be cool, yeah. Oh, jeez. So close! No! Oh, okay. Good. You did it. Good job. Okay. I didn't doubt you. Why did you have your eyes closed? I just was so certain that I was like, I don't even have to watch. Okay. Yeah. And we got a new skill point. Another right? skill point. What is it? Huh. Commando Poncho. Ooh, that one looks even better here. It's like we're. On the indoor strike team, Aaron. Oh, this should be three of something, either health or force. Maximum, Maximum force. force. Got another breach down here, some kind of webbing. Hey, who's that? Who's that? Hey, who's that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh. You got Ponder the Yay! Yay! I can't see that poncho. <laughs> when does everything with Mandalore happen? Would it be cool to go to Mandalore in Jedi Survivor? Yeah. Sure. The uh, Night of a Thousand Tears or whatever it is. Yeah. Is that what that is? Oh, I could have gone through the whole thing that way. Yeah, you can go that way. Um, I don't know. Should I do this? Do I have to fight that guy? Spiders loot back. Yeah, but if, I don't have to fight the big spider no more. All right. And I could use my point, maybe. Maybe. I want to save the Wookiees before we end, though, so. Okay. You're very green right now. So I blend into the forest. Yeah. Uh, Uh, 
Sir Sidalat says, I want Cal to visit Torgarians on Torgoria. Torgorians? Torgoria? Which I believe are big cat-like species. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, not like the cats are? No, they're a lot more cat-looking, I think. Like this. Oh, man. Kind of like Wookiee-like. They're furry. Yeah. If Wookiee's like a dog, like a cat. Ooh, Manon. Going back to Manon. Oh, yeah. I just heard from the captain. They're coming. Oh, this is it. At least we have the high ground. <laughs> yep. Never fails, right? Another hijack cutter. Reporting a live cutter near the cell blocks. Immediate aid requested. That cutter is going to be It is. These guys are right now. Look, they're looking at that cutter. Hey, guys. Yeah. Oh, okay, over there. Oh. Couple guys. Target's blocking my attack. Target's blocking my attack. Oh, man. Blocking my attacks. Nope. I ain't doing it. I ain't going through. You jump. What? Still alive in there? So far. Almost to the prison. Good. Imperial distress calls are going out across the planet. If you don't Aha. get prisoners soon. We can do this. I promise. Alright, we're almost there. We're definitely saving here. Yes. Beck Quang says, Hey Aaron, in the Badonkadonk podcast, you mentioned Star Wars The Old Republic MMO on your top five best Star Wars games of all time. What was your favorite story class? Um, I think my favorite was my Bounty Hunter. Yeah? Yeah. But as far as stories go, the um, the Jedi Knight and the Sith Warrior? Warrior. Okay. Um, they both tied in a lot to the, yeah. uh, the Revan yeah. Drew Carpesian book, too, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. So I liked, I really liked that as far as story aspects go. I like what I played at the Imperial Agent. Yeah. Kind of like ISB thing. Good. That's a first trooper. If you can push him. Can you push him? Push him! Push! Yes! Oh, Aaron, I'm so happy! Yeah! <laughs> Alright. That was awesome. Can we see their bodies? Nope. <laughs> This needs power. Okay. Uh, Sir said a lot. Have you guys ever watched Pencils and Parsecs? Uh, uh I'll look up what it is. No guards. I saved the Wookiees. It's a Star Wars RPG. Hey. Oh, okay. Uh, Hector Navarro. He's one of the guys from uh, Heroes Reforged. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. I haven't watched it. Have you seen Wave Squad? Huh. Yay! Is <laughs> Visitation is not permitted. Very aggressive way. Yeah, yeah, it is. I remember this. Oh, it's grim. This ended that demonstration that we saw. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Damage Give me a fresh backhand. And a fresh one for you. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. It sucks. Eventually, these guys just become regular enemies. Oh, yeah. There's a room on Illum that has like this five of them. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. Ah, uh, poor droids. Oh. Security droid. Uh, Drew War with the super chat. Thank you, Drew. I love that. Like he's doing that. You just see in the background. Just, like wake up. Right. It just hitting you in the face. Just bam. He's kind of scary though. Like it's a thank you, but he's just like. Ah! Ah! 
Yeah, I get you. Who's ready to fight? Take the off their neck things. All right, let's help these bookies get back in the fight. Great work, Jedi. Thank you. Man, you guys would have been in trouble trying to get out of that droid. It's locked down. Uh, I think you can get to the other side. Look Keep up. Keep going. We'll cover you. Isn't there like a? I remember being able to get there. It's yeah. from the other, the the one part where I fought that purge trooper. Okay, right maybe you double jump to get to it. I remember being able to like jump around that or something. I can just talk to this Wookiee. Go. Well, we got about. 13 minutes left, Darren, in stream. I think we made some pretty good progress today. I think we can get to the roof. Yeah. Saw's up ahead. We must be close. Clean and dirty at the same time. There is a rope you can swing on. I knew that. I'm gonna go up that way, or I can. Oh, there's a chest can I over get there. To that? No, you had to do this puzzle to do it. Thank you. Maybe you still need a double jump. Can I get up there? Yeah. So over that way, and then that way. Oh, that kills me. Oh, that, that kills you. Okay. Yeah, I think double jump is needed, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. No, you gotta stop and get over there and then yeah, do it. Yeah, that's what it is. So go all the way across and then left. Here, then we can walk the yeah. pipe, right? I think we need double jump for that over there, though, right? Yeah, I think you're right. Why'd you beat? Oh, that's the sap. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, that's what it is? That's what people were saying. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Do they have that mixer in there to keep it from hardening? Thanks for the help. And the refineries have been turned to cells. Yeah. yeah. That's a cool scene saw over there. The prisons. We need the Wookiees to finish this. Hurry! They've got reinforcements! Go, go, go! Damn, it's unsatisfying. Won't budge, we're trapped. We gotta get them out of there. Push them back. Result adversaries locale. Another one. I can see. Scout doesn't look very happy. But yeah. it has been a rough day. It has been very rough. Alright, that will do the charge. Yeah, I need to power that elevator. Which, yeah, it's where that per trooper was, right? Yeah. I should probably heal before I go to the room. He'll be back, that first trooper. Yeah, just shut him off again. I guess so. <laughs> It'd be okay. Did we miss a BD upgrade somewhere? Maybe, I don't know. I didn't see a workstation or anything. Ah! 
Why doesn't Cal get a grappling hook? Well, he's gonna have one in Jedi Survivor. Ah, he's not here. Uh, they're not there, yeah, okay. The roof, Aaron. Going up. I, I remember there was a fight here. I forget yep. what it is. Jedi Master difficulty. Alright. No, the Wookiees. Yeah, no. Can you save that Wookiee before it dies? It's possible. I've seen people do it. Jeez. Oh, he died. He's totally dead. Dang. Switch. <laughs> Ooh, those are hard. Oh, that's hard. And speaking of hard, dang man, more of them. More of them. What is going on over there? Which part? There's a Wookie head just floating over there. You see it? Oh my gosh! It is. There's a Wookie head floating. We couldn't save them, and now they're gonna haunt us. All right, good job, Aaron. Here we go. Wookie head's gone too. It's all better now. That was scary. Get ready, buddy. People are still firing. Oh, up there. We don't have the firepower to breach this hole. Uh, We're that's an ATSC coming. Yep. Yep. We found a lot of glitches happening. There's one in front of you. Oh, no, me shot. I remember having to do this a couple times. This battle. Nice. Yeah! Remember when they had a boss battle like icon thing here? Yep. Why Dude. can't I shove them off? Reckon. Why what? I want to shove them off this Oh, uh, That would be cool. He's like tripped over the yeah. railing. I'm on his foot. You were. Oh, beat him. Good job. I wasn't even looking at him. It was like Wait. a samurai moment when you go yeah. through him <laughs> and he dies behind you. We're Power Rangers. Everyone's happy. We did it. Yeah, woo, yeah. Everyone. These have been hard years. We've lost comrades, friends, family to the Empire. Dark times. And yet the fire still burns. Hope. Still burns. The Jedi are not yet lost. We are not yet lost. Kashyyyk is not yet lost. For the course! I like this moment, but it's so undercut later when Saul just abandons the fight here. Because he's like, eh, it's not gonna work out. Sure. You've seen what the Empire has done to Kashyyyk. No, I agree. These stories are playing out all over the galaxy. My partisans could use a Jedi on our side. I'm honored. But I'm busy. We have our own mission I can't walk away from. Not yet. The offer stands. Keep it in mind. <laughs> Cal, I'm Happy go Wookie. And this is Commander Choisek. Uh, sorry, I'm not quite fluent. Choisek says he'll do whatever he can to find Tarful and vouch for you. Do you think he's still alive? Have faith, Cal. We'll be in touch with your ship for the cause. Get these you know off me! He was part of Tarful's crew, but got captured on a mission. 
Tarful couldn't risk more warriors to save him. He spent months in that refinery. Choisik will help you find Tarful. They're always on the move. Could take some time. And that's all I can ask. Thank you. It's about 14 more years until Rogue One. Yeah, I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. I think all of these people have something. I'm glad we could help the Wookiees. Free and the oppressed, that's where the passion to keep fighting comes from. Every death, every dead end creates a fighter who isn't afraid to lose. Enough of them, and we'll take the day. You've been fighting for so long. Have you learned anything from war? Nothing unites people like tragedy. Everything the Empire takes from us only makes us stronger. Each injustice spurs others to join our cause. If we stand together, we can win. Just like today. Thank you. We did it. By the skin of our teeth. It'll be harder without your help. I know. But I can't abandon my mission. I understand. I got intel that may help you. A few rotations ago, my people searched an abandoned Wookiee village nearby. No sign of Tarful, but we did find out the safest route to the Shadowlands is through this refinery. I built an escape plan if this didn't work out. You catch on fast. When you're ready to find Tarful, that's the way to go. You'll keep fighting. I think he's done now. I think he's done. Oh. They're just tired, man. Leave them alone. They're just chilling. Chilling. Everybody's chilling. Well, he's like yellow. Yeah, some of them have a more of a yellow look. Hey. Seems like Saw's willing to do whatever it takes. Oh, is it because I talked he to Saw? He has Sofer? his own way of doing things, yes. But these are dire times. We need leadership like Saw's. Even when it means risking your lives? Someone has to stand up to the Empire. Why not us? I admire that. And we have something in common. Safe journey, Cal. We'll send word when we find Tarful. Good to have you on our side. Okay. Talk to these Wookiees. Oh. Maybe the elevator? They're just having a whole conversation. They'll be okay. What are you talking about? Ah! To do shortcut shortcut so what's your count at i think 20. i'm at 14. you've got to catch up oh i will the longer i stay alive the more imps i get to take out that's justice for what they did to your home our home we're all in this together the same cause we're family what happened to yours happened to mine I wonder if it just opened the door that's over here. It must have opened the door, yeah. I need to find my way back to the, uh... Yeah, this door was shut. Mm -hmm. That seems, uh... Don't press a button like that! ...indication that I picked up something. Project Augur has been reactivated. The mm -hmm. Empire may be close to finding another Bethel tomb. Re Looks like we still have work to do. Where? Where? Here. New objective on the hollow map. New allies after freeing the imprisoned Wookiees and taking the refinery from the Empire. Cal still had no information on Tarful's whereabouts. Luckily, Chos Chosik, Chow Chow yeah. one of the Wookiees Cal helped liberate, had fought alongside Tarful in the past. He and Mari Kosen, mm -hmm. a member of Saw Guerrilla Fighters, agreed to find Tarful for Cal. However, just as they received news. Uh, Seer discovered an Imperial transmission revealing the Empire was close to unearthing another tomb, tomb of the Zeppa. You think Saw and the others will be okay? Always looking on the bright side, huh? Always hey, look on um, the bright thanks. side. Uh, I see where we are now. Uh, what's over here real quick? Uh, this is, I think this is a shortcut area. Yep, you can get over to oh, the uh, yeah, one you. thing, but I don't know if... Yeah, yeah, can't get to it yet. Yeah, I can't climb this, right? Yeah, I think you need double jump to get there. Probably. Maybe. You won't do that until later. This is only customized. Yeah. yeah. Every time you do it, he always ignites it. 
is cool. All right, so that just lets me get to this point. Yeah. All right, we'll head back to the ship then. Right over there. It's nine o'clock as well. BD, this could use some power. I think so. Oh, they're gone. Dang. Yeah, can you not get back up this way? I think you have to go in there and then back the other way. Which, uh, there is a... You can't climb up that way. Can I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't. Cool. It just was nowhere to go with this before, mm -hmm. huh? No, oh, BD, we're not shotgun a thing yet. Shot the thing! Hey, Seer. Cal, good to see you back in one piece. Mari Kosan contacted us. We know you couldn't find Tarful. I love risking our lives for nothing. <laughs> it is great. It wasn't for nothing. Mari and Choisik will come through. I like your optimism. Choisik. You could all use a little of that now and then. Hey, I'm a positive guy, too. I'm positive that if I die, I'll be very upset. You did good, Cal. We might not have found Tarful yet, but you saved lives today. Don't forget that. Thanks. All right. All right. Let's go save. We can decide if we're going to continue down the path of Kashyyyk next mm -hmm. time. Or if we want to go, uh, like, to Dathomir. Go to Dathomir. There you will find a weapon. Meditate. Do it. There we go. Ah, I saw his eyeballs! <laughs> For a second, did you see the eyeballs? Can't we always see his eyeballs? I saw the back of his eyeballs. <laughs> Those are the spots you're not supposed to see. <sighs> Alright. Uh, um, as far as the next, uh, stream... Yep. I don't know that we necessarily have one right now because we're gonna be heading to London. Um, In London. So the next two Wednesdays we won't. Yeah. Uh, we do want to get this done before Jedi Survivor comes mm -hmm. out. So maybe after London, maybe if we have to, we might do like Wednesday and a Saturday or something yeah. like that to try to make sure we have enough time. Have enough time. Everything. So I think when you played before, you had about five, maybe six streams. Something like that. So, yeah. We'll see how things go, but uh, easier to go to. Yeah, we can go to Bogano. We can go back to Bogano. So Bogano. Bogano? I think Bogano. so. I just want to call it Bog. Bog. Yeah, I think you're right, Bogano. Um, but yeah, otherwise we'll be having uh, content on Wave Squadron throughout, uh, well, with Mandalorian coming back yep. next week. That'll be up. And then uh, we'll be in London and mm -hmm. covering as much as we can from Star Wars Celebration. So make Absolutely. sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on everything that we can. We're going to be trying to hit up all of the uh, uh, panels. As many as we can. Seeing what we can. Mm -hmm. Talking about it all. Should be great. Excited. Great. And now we're going to go put Bad Batch reactions up because I know a lot of people are waiting for it. And it will officially be like the final Star Wars thing on the Line Wave main channel. Everything else is going to be Wave Squadron. So it's, uh, it's a big deal. Yeah. Yep. So everything Star Wars will be right here. So make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe here. Subscribe. And uh, I think that's everything. Yep. I'm trying to find what button is supposed to shut everything down. This one? 